Well, that's good. Barbie, do we have moderator capabilities yet? Yes, sir. All right. Oh, you do? So that means you can mute us. Yeah. yeah can I do the music, the, the intro music? <laughs> Do you guys know what's going on yet with everything that, you know, Clive and Bundy, I guess, was said, like, yesterday or this morning or whatever? I could try to catch some stuff on YouTube, but from what they picked apart, it's like, he didn't say anything wrong, and I didn't know if, you know, if you guys had heard from anybody actually out there or what. That was on April 19th that that footage was quoted off of, and we have posted a link onto the conference call, community conference call, of the statement in its entirety. Uh, that's all I know at the present time. If anybody else would like to chime in. I nearly forgot that's what I'm, that was part of the purpose I called too. I think, I mean, I, I, I read part of the comments, but it's from the New York Times, so it's not highly reliable. Yeah, he went on a Chris, uh, the Peter Schiff or Chris Schiff show or something like earlier today and Peter explained Schiff. his comments and he explained himself pretty well. It's on YouTube. You just had to put up, uh, put in Clive and Bundy and then hit, uh, in YouTube. You just had to put the, uh, upload date, any videos that were uploaded today and his interview with Peter Schiff or Chris Schiff or Scott Schiff or one of those two and he explained yeah, Peter Schiff said. probably. He's, uh, got his own show, I think. Hey, Bofi. Yeah. Are you driving? Am I what? Yeah, I'm, I'm on my way to work. It takes me like three minutes to get there, so I figured I'd call just to see if anybody had any updates. I can hear your background noise. Uh, aren't you glad we that Oki one? No, that's Oki. That's Oki? No, this is Barbie. No, the other gal. What you know, happened to Oki Like the OG Hazard show, you know, with Catherine Bach and Tom Schneider or whatever his name is and all them. <laughs> <coughs> Who is asking for Oki? That was Michigan Oki. 10. I was wondering if that was Oki speaking a second ago. Okay. Michigan 10. Um, I'm going to send you a message in a minute, okay? Let me put some soda in the fridge first. No hurry, because I'm on my phone and won't be able to read it till I get home. Anymore. Oh, okay. There is Oki 1. Oki 1 quit. Oh, and further comments can be directed privately. She's a lady and the whole situation is not good. Because you got a bunch of uneducated retards reading the Times and political and assuming that it's racist <laughs> because the New York Times claims it's racist. Ten four. That's what I tell everybody. They're not reliable. From the Washington Post, the New York Times, the New York Times, the Washington Post. You know, like part of them is that these people are nuts. All right, I think they probably got them out of context. They play that card all the time. Hey, oh, we're trying to put a new spin on things today. That's for sure. They're, once they, uh, if they succeed, making him look like a racist, they may uh, move on. But uh, I doubt, I doubt they'll be successful in doing that. Does everybody want Barbie's prediction? I do. I don't think they succeed, but it is going to be a struggle. And I don't think Operation American Spring is even going to happen anymore because in the middle of the struggle with Mr. Bundy, um, Texas is going to pop out of the woodwork because of the Red River land grab. And I think it's like 90,000 acres that the BLM is trying to grab, and we're going to have to run over there. But that's well, just uh, opinion. Barbie, yeah. um, I actually attend meetings every Wednesday at o'clock over here. Virginia's got 10 groups across the state, uh, and we meet for Operation Red Spring. Now, understand your prediction. Do you think Texas might uh, become another BLM operation? Um, who knows if that happens? But uh, I think Operation American Spring is still a go. And as of yesterday, we got 22 more days to Operation American Spring. So I think it's still a go. Even though I think it's a bad idea. No, no. I, I, understand, I understand your prediction. If, if what happens in Texas is worse than the Bundy Ranch, then I can see the, all the attention, you know, leaving for, for the Red River area. Can I introduce but, something here? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, this is Richard from Texas. Uh, I think that the BLM is going to have a little bit more opposition in Texas than they did out in Nevada. Because oh, Greg, Abbott, Greg Abbott has already uh, asked them, they want, he wants to see their whole, whole file, what they, what they plan on doing. And then Rick Perry has already asked them what they're going to do, go back all the way to the Spanish land grants and back to the Indians and, and re, retry everything for to see who it belongs to. I think these two, as far as Texas is concerned, may give them more opposition than what Nevada did.
I, I, I think so too. And I think if we jump in on the Texas thing, um, not only is it going to give a lot of attention to it, but it's going to make people think, okay, the militia went from Nevada to Texas. They're not doing anything bad. They're not leaving a bunch of trash behind. They're boy scouting themselves. You know, it, it's going to make it look like, okay, what is the media doing? The media is making a, the militia guys look bad and look, the oath keepers look bad, but it's not the, the patriots making them look bad. And with the attention that they're getting, people are starting to wake up and realize, hey, um, something's not quite adding up here. Hey, I got a hey, Barbie. Barbie. Excuse me. Hey, this is Chuck. This is Chuck. I'll be able to give you a, a, a boots on the ground report from down at the river. I'll be going down there this weekend. Um, I believe to talk to a rancher named Henderson and maybe one or two more if I can get a hold of them. What we're looking for is an aggrieved party who will say, if you bring that bulldozer on this property, there's going to be violence. That's what we need. If we don't have someone to stand up to, they're just going to play the legal route. There's not a thing we can do. Well, one that, person say, you bring you, know, you bring equipment in to steal around and it's gone, that we can get behind. Chuck, you need to talk to my pipeline guy. I'm sorry? You need to talk to my pipeline guy. He might be able to help you find that person. Okay, give me my phone number. Ask him to give me a shout. I'll be going down there with Becky Williams, by the way. Them out in Texas, the way they got spooked, and Nevada and their sheriff got spooked. If you can spook them even more in Texas, I guarantee you the BLM won't even touch Oklahoma, because I heard Oklahoma is the one that's next on the list after Texas. Uh, Indian properties, what they're messing with there, too. Yeah, it's a split on the property. The Red River goes down the middle, and the way the original paperwork said was um, the land mass facing northeast from the river over or something like that, I have to pull it up and I can read it to you exactly. And hey, now Chuck. I can say that all that land is BLM land, and it's not. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Uh, Chuck, how you doing? It's Manny. Uh, when, when you go up there to the Red River area, uh, are, do you have any plans to uh, get in touch with a county sheriff, you know, responsible for that jurisdiction? You know, I haven't gotten that far. I have a, a guy in Oklahoma, my nephew, as a matter of fact, has already been down there. And I have not had the opportunity and time with all the stuff going on right now to try and get a hold of the sheriff. I would like to try and get him on an interview situation. Um, awesome. Since I'm going down there um, with, uh, sorry, memory's lousy, but Becky Williams, maybe uh, maybe we can try and get an interview. I need to call Becky and see, get more particulars on this. But we'll do everything we can. That. We'll do everything we I mean, can I, to keep you informed. Yeah, of course. Now, the thing is, I'm thinking Texas is not going to be like in Nevada. And I think, you know, I'm listening to uh, Attorney General Greg Abbott. He was uh, pretty much adamant about taking him to court. So if the Attorney General is behind, you know, Mr. Henderson and who knows what other law enforcement officer, you know, in the area is going to be behind Mr. Henderson. I, I don't see the, the the need for militia. Who knows if they may. Look, I, I love the militia. I'm a militia member myself. OK, but uh, maybe the Texas Rangers may come in or, or the state troopers may come in and, and be enforcers of the state law. That's regarding Texas. The guard probably might get involved, too, since the attorney general. You know, is against the BLM in Texas. Yeah, the state guard. Right. Well, it's a matter. Here's the thing: you have to look at it from a, a step way back. A lot of times, look at things from a psyop perspective. The last thing that our government wants is another another place where the militia um, rallies to. Right. Um, that would that would be starting a trend. I do not trust any politician. So they would rather tie it up in court, say, "Oh, don't worry about it. You know, it's going to be okay. We're handling it. We're fighting for you at the state level." Uh, Austin is as corrupt as any other state capital. I agree. And I think that they will try and tamp this down by making a lot of promises and hoping that after it blows over, then they can come back in and do it again. They're not going to stop. They're not right. going to stop, period. They're going. They're trying to steal the water in this case. It's all about the water. And uh, so I don't trust them. I don't trust Abbott. I don't trust any of them. I think they're just trying to tamp this down, stall it, delay it, say, oh, don't worry about it. We're protecting you. Hey, uh, Perry is was, is as corrupt as any governor going. He tried to sell a huge slice of Texas under the land, uh, the uh, Trans-Texas Corridor to Spain. I mean, he's a, he's a real skank, right? I and, uh, he looks good in a cowboy hat, but that's all he is, and, and he himself is a puss. Yeah, right. So, guys, I gotta I gotta edit audio. Just got some more boots on the ground uh, stuff out there, and so I've got to edit audio and video and, and put some stuff out. I'll stop back in a little bit later. If the uh, if the revolution starts while I'm doing this, somebody hit my cell phone, will you? I'll try. <laughs> okay, sweet. Hey, Chubb, nice for you. Thank you for your input. Appreciate it. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. Wait a minute. I got two things oh. for you, Chuck. Okay, babe. One, try and get on that um sheriff, the sheriff officers up there, and see if you can get somebody to give you an interview. I would love to hear it. Get their mouth um, anyway. Yeah. And then number two, I left you stay on the whole time and didn't mute you once. I just wanted to point that out to you. 
That was mighty sweet of you. Now that you have the ability to mute me, huh? Man. <laughs> I guess that was a shot across my bow, as my dad would say. You know, <laughs> retired Navy officer. There's the warning, Chuck. I now can mute your ass. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Uh, bye-bye. Hey, um, apparently uh, Alex Jones have had uh, some black conservatives say similar things to what Bundy has said. I don't know if there's a way to get the actual statements from there, but that's what he was saying in the interview. Oh, oh were you talking had, about the infiltrators? I'm sorry to interrupt again. I was just about to hang up. Are you talking about the infiltrators? Yeah, the infowars guy. He said he's had uh, people like black yeah. conservatives come on his show. Yeah, I just had a conversation with um, uh, with Ray out there and asked him about it. And he just kind of giggled. You know, come on. Uh, when you start a militia, you kind of assume that you might, or you probably do, you know, have okay. people. But he said, so what? We're not, we're, we're aware of it, but we're not going to worry about it. They could have one-to-one ratio fed to us, and it wouldn't matter to us. We're not hiding. You know, uh, things like uh, like uh, even security, you know, how many people are out there. Uh, there is, everything's out in the open. There, How many men are there? The time fluctuates from two to 500. Um, where they're positioned is, is obvious to anybody overhead. Um, so what, what could an infiltrator do except try and provocateur something? And would you like to try and provocateur something in the middle of that bunch? So I think that's all just more people juicing up crap for hits on their website and to you know, get people to listen to them. That, that whole thing is all bullshit. I'll be, I'll be posting that video here in about an hour or so, okay? Hey, yeah, Chuck, what, what, before you leave. What do you mean? Before you leave, are you, uh, you go by two names, Chuck or Charles? Uh, my, name, my name is Chuck Smith. I'm Smith Fix on the Internet. Okay, Smith Fix. There you go. We spoke the other night. Yeah, we friended each other, so, okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, I just wanted to tamp that down while I was here. See you later. I'll be today. Hey, Chuck. Chuck's gone. Uh, all right. Well, I'm sure he'll be back on here. I can say I'm positive he'll be back on here. That is the second time I met Chuck on here, so he's a good guy, I think. Okay, Barbie, I just sent InfoWars uh, a letter uh, asking for, like, David Knight or somebody to come on the line. Um, maybe we can have Chuck involved with that, too. Um, I want to do it. I don't want him to do it. <laughs> oh, Tinfoil. <laughs> oh, straight away. It was my idea. Let me have some fun, really? Go? Jeez. All right, well, you already got control panel. How much more control do you want? <laughs> Dictatorial powers. <laughs> well, okay, it's not a control thing. I don't care about the control panel. I'm not even looking at it. I'm actually watching some catch recap to see how many points I'm in because I'm ranking at 6,291, which sucks. But, um, no, that's not what sucks. I want to ask some questions. I want to ask where they stand. I want to ask, you know, why do you feel that way? Do you really believe this man at this age feels the way you're thinking he feels? Mm -hmm. Why do you think that way? How can we get you to understand that race is really no longer an issue with the people? It's only an issue with the government. Do you understand what I mean? Wow, everybody got quiet. Did I say anything wrong? Um, No, you didn't say anything wrong. Did I shock you? Absolutely. Anytime that they want to divide us, they they use race to do it or social issues to do it. That is how they do it. I think, um, in the long run, Mr. Bundy has just, uh, I don't know how to say it, I don't, for lack of a better word, his manhood, his principles and his morals, he stood for himself this long, I'm not going to put any doubt in him. I'm going to stand right there beside him. And if people want to call me a racist too, well, golly, by gee, I guess I'll be a racist too, along with a domestic terrorist. Hi there, caller. How are you today? Barbie just stunned everybody and shut everybody up by accident. Hello. Because you're a moderator and we're scared to say anything. Oh, please, give it up. Permission to speak male. <laughs> After that, hell no. <laughs> uh. Come on, think of a song. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Okay, I'm really not like that, though. <laughs> Go ahead. I wonder the feds, I wonder the feds are listening to the conference. I really hope they are because, you know, from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the morning, it gets really freaky in this conference call. Just saying. And whatever you do, don't dial star 9. Well, you can't tell me that without me knowing what that means. That means you'll get stuck talking to Michelle. She's one of the ladies of the line. 
<laughs> hey, I heard that. You tried to dial star nine. <laughs> oh, man. That's kind of what it's like around here between four and six o'clock in the morning. Oh, and you don't even want to know about the Chinese takeout food we order. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. Hey, gotta ask. Hey, Barry, this is for you. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I can't listen to this anymore. We we've got to change that made of plastic line to something else because you know it's such a cute little ditty. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. You want to hear the rest of it? <laughs> <laughs> But the line after that is, I'm fantastic. And yes, I am. And uh, I really have the same attitude off the conference call as I have on it. What do you want to talk about? So I got a question real quick. For me? Yeah, real quick. Um, and I'm just asking, because I've been trying to get out to uh, Nevada, and I posted on Patriot Railroad and, and uh, the Bundy site, the Bundy page on uh, Facebook. Uh, I, I got a family, I got a son and, and a wife, and I can't leave without transportation. So I've been trying to get a ride out to Bunch Ranch, just at least, you know, for a week and release some of these guys on post. And uh, that's my only obstacle is a ride to get out there. And, and uh, I uh, got message with a couple of people from a couple of people saying that there was a group leaving out of uh, Henderson, North Carolina, and I just missed them. So I'm, I'm three hours away from Henderson, North Carolina. But uh, I just want to know if, if I'm allowed to rest. I mean, I think I'm allowed to rest, but if you won't give me an answer, that's fine. But how many, what's the strength on the ground right now? How many, how many troops do we get down there? Well, okay, there's conflict of interest there. Um, we have a guesstimated number of how many are there. We have been asked not to release that guesstimated number. Even no, problem. Though, no problem. That's no problem at all. Even though there's drones flying over, you know, and they're taking pictures and stuff, they, they're still asking for more people to come. So we're trying to get them there. Yeah, um, well, the thing is that that video that I saw, people are trying to leave, and these people look, they had a liaison, okay, from what I saw, they, they called themselves, he called himself a liaison of Simon Bundy, all right, and the intent of that meeting with, with uh, Sheriff Gillespie was to let him know, hey, are you going to hold, you know, your oath to the Constitution and protect the Bundy family, because patriots want to leave, so it's sort of like mixed words I'm getting, because, you know, they want boots on the ground, and obviously right now it depends, yeah, boots on the ground, but patriots want to leave too, and that's that's of course if uh if Sheriff Gillespie steps up and actually does his job to defend you know the Bundy family in case any uh federal obligation and any the the, the the intent of the federal government whether they want to you know match again against uh Simon Bundy. Okay, we had personal security on the call um two nights ago, and he explained it to us as they still want people there, but people are rotating in and out. You burn out really quick doing what they're asking you to do. Right. There are people that are leaving, but they, there's people that are staying, too. Right. Um, I have not seen that video yet. I'm going to go look at it. I promise. I'm hungry. I'm trying let, to... Let me hang up. Let me hang up. I'm going to go ahead and tag you to that. Okay? Okay. Wait a minute. Before you hang up. Okay. Do you have a PayPal account? Do I have a PayPal account? No, I do not. My wife does. Okay. Listen to me. There is a page. It's called GoFundMe.com. It's G-O-F-U-N-D... M-E, go fund me. Right. You can create an account asking for donations so that you can get out there. Right. I, I, I've seen that. I'm, I think I'm familiar with that. But the, the thing is, I may have to rent a vehicle to make a cross-country trip because I just cannot leave my wife and my son. My wife's on board with it. I mean, she, she's for me going to Nevada. She understands. Instead of the thing is, I can't, hop on a plane. Well, here's the thing. And, and I'm not going, you know, to Nevada without any party favors because I'm useless without, you know, any... You, any you can transport them on a plane. You need to go to, or call your local airport, airport. They have standards on how you have to pack it. You can transport it on a plane. Now, ammunition and a plate carrier and yes. magazines and yes, you all sorts? Yes, you can. I don't want to take my chances. Uh, without the right TSA attempting to confiscate them? Yes, you right. can. Yes, you can. There are guys I who will. have taken them in and out on airplanes. But I you have to follow chances. their rules on how to pack oh. them. You have to think about it, though, because the military does uh, go through planes sometimes, so there should be some sort of protocol for that. There is. Well, l look, I I've taken a rifle before, but I didn't have the excess baggage of ammunition and a plate carrier and magazines. I mean, I've ha I know that there are rules for it. I mean, it has to be locked in a gun case, okay, and then you have to declare it, and then the TSA agent will take it to the side. You open it, you show it to them, you clear it before them, then you, back, you put it back in your gun case. You close it under lock, key, or combination. But uh, 
I don't know. That was that was six years ago. And, and I'm not taking my chances now when they see my boarding passes. My boarding the, the flight is for Las Vegas. You know, they know where I'm going. And there has been plenty of people that have done it just that way. Honest to God, even from where you're at, I can tell you, from Virginia, they have they have done it. In the well, Barbie, Barbie, when, when sorry, Barbie, when you uh, if, if you get a hold of some of these people that have had this experience of flying to uh, Nevada, all right, can you uh, you know, ask them and, and maybe to contact me, see how it works. Um. Yeah. Can you do me a favor when you're tagging me in that video, go over yeah. to my wall and put a post on my wall. If anybody has flown to Vegas and back. During the Bundy situation, please contact me. All right. I will do so. And I will make sure the right person sees it to get in touch with you. Right. This is Michigan 10? Yes, Michigan 10. That gentleman is and if you make that PayPal account, as soon as I get home, I'll put 20 bucks on it. Get the ball oh, rolling for you. I, I appreciate it. I got a... Oh, that's a lot of echo. I appreciate it, but... Uh, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, go on. Go on. Well, thank you for able to come down to us. How bad do you want that? I mean, I mean, it's a way to get the fun, a way to get out there. Right, right. Unlike me, you know, I was packed and ready to go. My husband came right. home, I went to school for the and he said, I don't think so. There is a lot there of that. Can everybody please take so I don't have to go to the kitchen to you. Hello? Hello? Say your last. Say your last. Control panel. Please hit star six. Star six. Star six. Star six. Hello? I'm here. Hello? 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 Still got the feedback. Yeah, a lot of feedback. All right, there's an know. echo because somebody is on Skype and on their phone at the same time, probably. Not this guy, okay. Well, all I have to do is look in here, and I can tell you who it is. Ah, it's all done now, so somebody... I'll call back. i got to go and unload this, uh, this van. So uh, have a good day, folks. Okay, don't forget to leave that post for me. I shall. Okay. Hey, someone's posting something that says, like, I'm on the sir. It says starts in 15 minutes. I don't know what they're talking about. I have no clue. Yeah, but um, when I, on the conference, it's going to be where they're going to charge uh, Gillespie and stuff. But when I click on the link, it goes to like an hour video of uh, the Bundy Ranch. Yeah, it's a conference. I was uh, I posted it on my Facebook last night. It is uh. They're going to charge uh, Gillespie and Daniel P. Love and a bunch of other people with charges today. Who are they? Who? Who what? Uh, the names you just mentioned. Uh, are they Daniel, beyond... Daniel P. Love is the special agent in charge. He's a Green Beret. He was uh, in charge of the BLM thing. And um, uh, Gillespie, the sheriff, are going to be formally charged today, I guess. Yeah? That's good. It, it, it's supposed to happen at 1 o'clock, I think, Pacific time. Or, yeah. Well, if that's true, then we won't need the militia charges. there anymore. If they get formally charged, you don't, will we still need the militia there? Yes, because then there's no sheriff, no acting sheriff if he has charges pending. Oh, true. Who's making the charges? Uh, the bunnies. The bunnies are going to enforce that with the it, militia members? It, it'd be easier for you to go to my Facebook page. It's Real Patriot. I'm proud of it, too, on Facebook. And scroll down, and you'll see what I have posted there. It's got, it's like 14 different things that they're going to uh, talk about today. That's the 1 o'clock press conference, right? Yeah, I believe so. And that, is that going to be 1 o'clock Pacific time or Central or what? Um, I think it's Mountain Time because I almost missed it the last time. What was that Facebook page again? Real Patriot. There's quite a few of them. And proud of it, too. There's only one of those. Okay. Go ahead and send me a friend request. Hey, can I jump in here just a second? Sure can. This is Texas. Hey, uh, did, did anybody, this has changed the subject, not not completely because it has to do with everything that's going on right now. Not not so much the Bundy, but did anybody hear what happened to Eric Holder in Oklahoma? 
No, what happened? I know they're trying to um, get rid of him. Well, Oklahoma, the police cadet, the, they, they're all graduating, and he was he was going to take it upon himself to come, I guess, talk or whatever up there. And they had a protest against it, and it's all been canceled. They don't want him here because they said this is a police academy for justice, and he has not done anything that was justice in the Justice Department. So they canceled his uh, program that he had through them. And you know, this was on the news this while ago. That's something that all of us can work on too. Any public official that you know is corrupt, get your friends together and go protest wherever they're speaking at. Yeah, well, this was all the, the cops themselves, all the graduate cops and, and, their, and their superiors. They didn't want him here because he didn't represent them in justice. So it's all his, his has been canceled now, and now they got some judge going to read the proceedings. So. I thought that was kind of neat. I heard it this morning on the radio, on the local news. It is neat. I agree. You know, it's, 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 you know that's just another black mark against him right there. Yep. Now, now they're, you know, they're going to have to wake up. People don't want him around, and maybe they'll do some of these others like that too. Well, we can do that. I mean, if I hear yeah. reporters coming to my area, I'm going to definitely go protest. But it's just like Michelle hey, me. was going to uh, talk at that Kansas graduation and. They got up and told her they didn't want her there. How do we watch the news conference? Uh, well, I, didn't, I don't watch the news, but I listen to the radio quite a bit. No, no, the news conference where they're going to talk to about these. Usually one of them has it carried live. Sometimes on YouTube, sometimes they'll post it on the Bundy Ranch page. It's just Bundy Ranch. Right, no, I'm from there, but I'm talking, I don't know where to go to watch the live. Yeah, they'll post the link on the Bundy Ranch page. Okay. As soon as, I, as soon as I find where it's going to be, I will let you know. But I can't get either. They do live interviews every day at 1 o'clock. And then you post them up to his YouTube page. Hey, it's Oklahoma 4 here. Anything changed down on Red River yet? Not yet. Cool bone. I guess they, they, they might figure out that the uh, Texas Attorney General and the Governor aren't playing. Hey, Minnesota 1. Hmm. He's not here. So, did you see the latest video from Harry Reid on YouTube about uh, something will stop Bundy? No, I did not. Want to film it? I just saw it on, uh, I didn't look at it, I didn't have time. I'm actually at work running down the road. <laughs> but, it's on Facebook. There's so many videos that are on Facebook. I, I don't know, you well, get, get to them all. Yeah, this is a, this is a dingy, dingy Harry Reid. <laughs> Pretty much threatening the, the ranch again, you know. You know how all them domestic terrorists are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they usually in the go they usually uh have names like Harry Reid. <laughs> and they have government power, like being in the Senate. Yeah, they think it's power. What they that. Or the recall on them, you can revoke them in a heartbeat. And I don't get that. Why are people not doing that? You know, I don't know. I put it out there several times. Because uh, they can still uh, watch their football, their basketball, and drink their beer and eat food. Yes. Bye. Hey, don't make me feel bad. I didn't have nothing to eat since 8 o'clock last night. <laughs> oh. And I have to do it again tonight. <laughs> Well, once again, I got to get off of here and make a living. Got to make another delivery. Yeah, I'll come back on about an hour. All righty, I'll be here. Uh, you got to do it again tonight and work hard if you like it. <laughs> hmm, that's an interesting uh, picture of Clive and Bundy here. I'm kind of reading a little bit into it. I guess when the uh, little 
little uh, not basically not white, but he was a brown kid. He started playing with them. So, anyone want me to send that picture picture out? Um, just throw it up on the conference call page. All right. I wish we had more likes than what we had, that we could effectively um, mount a campaign showing that we still support him. <coughs> hey, I need a volunteer. Um, anybody on Skype that wants to try something with me? Come on, somebody. What do you need? Can I delete my post so that I, or no? That's yeah. not possible. I you posted should, the wrong thing. You should be able to, um, refresh the page, and then in the top left, top right hand corner, there's a thing there. Yeah, I tried that, but, I don't know. It's being dumb. Yeah, we gotta talk to Brian about that. I have not heard from Dave Kelso. Has anybody? There's a few things that need taken down off that wall. And for you cell phone callers, you might want to think about getting Skype, just saying. That's cool. Hey, Minnesota. I'm going to call back later. See ya. Okay, see ya. Hello there. How are you today? I'm almost done eating my breakfast and lunch combination. And I'll get to work, I promise. I don't understand that. Um, so y'all, do you think we should try and get an official comment from the ranch? Yeah, I hear you. And that was you, Tim, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, they're dropping off like flies. Who is? All the callers. Oh. Do you think we should try and get an official statement from the ranch? I, I mean, that's up to you. Um, you know, they put some stuff out there this morning. They had that live interview. Um, I don't know. It um, It's not like it's going to go away what's said, what's said, and everybody's going to spin it to their own agenda. Um, you know, it uh, it's a crying damn shame that many people didn't jump up and down about women being thrown on the ground and tasers being used on people. Yeah, I know. And honestly, I'd say this is what they wanted. Uh, that's why they pulled away. Nothing's been happening. Hoping, you know, that uh, something like this would come out. Um, you know, so that there is something to spin and something to twist and try to try to uh, portray evil or, or racist or whatever the hell they want to call it. Um, I mean, all you have to do is look at the Facebook comments that are out there today. Um, you know, and, and the ones that are on the other side or, or extremely liberal or whatever, you know, regardless of skin color or anything else, they're spinning it one way, saying that he said one thing and it's not what he said. Um, I've actually just cut the news feed the hell off because it's getting my blood pressure up. I still don't think that changes, uh, what the whole thing's actually about out there in Nevada. I agree a hundred percent. They can try to put up a smoke screen, but that still isn't going to change what's going on with the federal government's overreach on every aspect of your life. So no matter what topic you want to talk about, they're there. And the thing of it is, there, there's nobody there to fight at the moment. Um, you know, I, like I say, I, I believe that's kind of what they were hoping for, was something to happen somewhere. One of the one of the boots on the ground people to slip up and something happen or something be said or a disturbance. I, you know, I, honest to goodness, I think that's what the pullback was for. Um, 
the, the com- pretty much complete silence out there for the last bit, um, was just hoping for a slip up. And in my eyes, this isn't even a slip up. I mean, if you, if you sit there and listen to the whole, um, article, um, to the whole conference uh, or news thing, whatever you want to call it, he was doing interview there. Um, first of all, he was telling the count of his eyewitnesses of the LA burnings and, and, uh, the LA riots and all of that. And, um, you know, it, uh, I, I mean, you know, you, you can call people of a different color, whatever, uh, they all want to be referred to something. It doesn't matter what you call them. They, they expect you all to be calling them something else. That's true, too. Yeah. Eric Holder went in front of the whole Congress and said the way that the reason that the president and himself are getting treated bad is because the uh, Congress is racist against them. That's what it's come down to. Never mind the job performance and what they've done or haven't done. And that's a shame because it's not supposed to be that way. And the shame of it is that's an issue that we'll have to deal with forever. Yep. Um, you yep. know, there, there's nothing you can change about the past. It is what it is. Everybody sees it a different way. Um, nobody will ever agree, and it'll always be thrown up racist. It doesn't matter if it's against the black, the red, the yellow, the American Indian that was here. Um, it, that's the easy card to play. Uh, rather than standing up and saying, this is who I am, this is what I stand for, I can't help what people did 200 damn years ago. Uh, we're here in 2014. I didn't put nobody in, in slave shackles. And, you know, there, there's nothing none of us can do to change the past. And you're right. You can't change the past. All you can do is learn from it and grow so that the future will be better. Barbie? Yes, sir. Real Patriot. I uh, sent a letter to all the writers of InfoWorks. Cool. So, see what happens. Let me know if you get a response, other than the automated responses. I will. What did the letter say? Uh, Basically explain that we have the conference call 24 hours a day, um, and we'd like to have someone from InfoWorks chime in, and so we can give them info about the conference call and whatnot. Oh, that's good. Then they won't know that they're coming up against me. Yeah, I'm sure you'll just tear them apart. <laughs> without, now, you know, they don't have anything bad to say about the situation. Uh, InfoWars has been very positive. Okay. You got, you just make sure to remind me that before I start talking to them? Yeah, David Knight, he was live streaming most of the, most of that day, that Saturday. Yeah, he was. I watched a lot of his stuff. And then, you know, they got also really good video right there when uh, Ammon was uh, facing off with uh, uh, Daniel P. Dove. Um, do you want to see if you can find a spokesperson for KDVR.com? Who's that? Um, well, somebody posted it on my wall. Uh, I believe, let's see, Samantha McHenry. She's one of my prepper groups. Uh, Nevada Rancher Bundy, and then in quotation, or semicolon, then quotations, the Negro, better off as slaves, is how they titled their article. And what I'd like to do is contact them and ask them, why did they title it? Do they get off trying to make things look bad? Or do they just have the comprehension level of a five-year-old that don't understand that the government doesn't rule the world? Well, we're trying to make the government not rule the world anyway. Well, you know, I just watched the video, and if you watch the whole thing, I mean, he talks about how he's got a black militia member that walks through his house, you know, and you you don't got a problem with that. I mean, you know, uh, you know, they took a small part of the interview and and ran with it. They didn't. They probably didn't even watch the whole thing. Keep it in contact. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's see if we can get somebody from over there. It's kdvr.com. I'll let you guys hack at her, Tim, whoever you get. That is politics 101, what they did with that information. Well, you know, why can't we play politics 102? Let's shove it back in their face. Well, we got that clip on there. People just need to share, read, uh, watch the thing in its full entirety, and watch all Cliven's statements on that topic and start yeah. to finish. Yeah, but let's let's get some of these places that are reporting it incorrectly and say and get them in here and, and ch- get them to change these titles around. I mean, maybe get them to do a live interview. That'd be even better yet. Yeah, and we show them. You know, we the people are tired of this shit. That's not what that whole interview was about. And you take one sentence that you think is going to draw attention to it in a bad light. 
That's ridiculous. Well, it's like Chuck said, I believe he said that that's all about getting so many hits on their site and make the most hideous heading they can find to get the most hits to show their advertisers that they're getting a lot of traffic. And they don't care how they get those hits. Well, let, let's start making them care. Bring them in here, and if I can't convince them, I'll let Chuck go free. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Barbie can be a bitch sometimes. I don't prefer to be. So what do you say, guys? Do we do it or not? I don't think you'll get them to call in and speak publicly, but try. Uh, e -V -R they like they like to put that crazy stuff out there and not answer for what they do. Yeah, well, you know what? I can put stuff out there, too. It's called free internet. And I can put it out there underneath every post that they put this bad title on that I called them for questions and they didn't want to question me. Who's the media person for the bunch? I don't know. We need to okay, find out. Okay. No, after listening to his, his thing on info board this morning, uh, the worst thing he could have went out done was say, yeah, I have a black guy down here at the ranch. You know, that, that didn't help him. People would do that as a fan of the town. He's got to stop talking to people now. He, 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 he's not trained to deal with it. He's not trained to combat uh, talking with the media. They've got to get a PR person out there uh, that does all the communications for the bunch that they can't let them talk. They, they, they just can't. I mean, they're looking for every excuse they can, every misstep, every wrong word he says. And it took him a couple of days to, you know, catch the statement about he said about the Negroes, but boy, once they caught it, you saw how they use it. So somebody needs to get a hold of them and tell them to quit talking to the oppressed person out there that's trained to do this for them because everything that they say, they're going to try to twist and take it the wrong way. It's good if Clinton keeps talking. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and Glenn Beck already did that last week. He was more or less making Cliven agree to stuff that he didn't understand. And, it, you know, it's really a shame because he's just... You know. Right. I, I don't know. I, you know, they have lawmakers that were down there helping. And my lawmakers pulled this book from the ranch this morning. And he's going to be moving on to another county in Nevada that is going to I guess, be going through this same type of thing. Uh, I'm still waiting for him to actually oh, oh, oh. share with people. But somebody, they, they, they've got a quick talk and they've got to get a new person. Uh, this is Ohio one chiming in. Okay, so um, let's take a quick vote. I want everybody to vote calmly and orderly. I got the main tip line and the newsroom number. <laughs> what, what are we voting on? Hello? Hold on a second. Someone's at my door. Hey, Barbie. Barbie. Said, Hang on a second. Someone's at her door. Oh, okay. I, I was uh, wondering what we're voting on. I just chimed in. This is a hot one. Did we ever get an address of where the press conference is going to be shown out yet? <laughs> Unexpected personnel. So, what was the outcome of the vote? I have the, um, name, the tip line. Uh, what, what exactly are we voting on? This is Ohio One chiming in. Ohio One. Somebody, Hi, Barbie. Somebody posted on my wall, and it upset me. What does it say? It says, "Wow, Barbie, did y'all see this?" And the headline says, "Nevada Rancher Bundy semicolon." Uh, quotation, the Negro, quotation, better off as slaves. And it posted it from K, whoops, KDVR.com. So I looked that up. And I would like to call them and ask them out of that whole interview, was that the best title you could come up with, really? I agree. I, I, I uh, haven't really even heard of uh, what happened. Well, I think when you read the playback, um, they'll come to the same conclusion as I have. It's the news media sen sen sensationalizing an innocent comment from an old man who has no PR experience. So he actually said that? Yes, but not in the context that they're using it. Oh, okay, so he, uh, what was he, what all happened exactly? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious. I haven't watched the whole video yet because it's an hour long, they told me. Um, 
fifth suggestion. Michigan 10. I posted a, uh, a two-minute version of just what he said on the conference call. So if you play that there, while you're on the air, everybody will be able to hear. Okay. Yeah, if, uh, I'm kind of driving in downtown Columbus right now. If uh, someone could play that so I could get the I could get the scoop on what was said, that'd be awesome. Okay, hold on. I'm getting that. Michigan 10, you said you posted it? Yes, I did. Okay, full unedited version. Correct. And that's two minutes, the full unedited version? Real Patriots back on. Okay, hold still, Real Patriots. Michigan 10, the unedited version, is that two minutes? That is correct. Okay. That's the entire statement that Cliven made from start to finish with nothing taken out, nothing edited, nothing misplaced, start to finish. You play that while you got everybody on here, everybody will be able to hear I'm going to everybody please hit mute on your phone, hit star six or hit mute on your phone. We're going to play this so we can get it done and over with. Here we go. I want to tell you one more thing I know about Tomato. When I, when I go, this, I go through Las Vegas, not across Las Vegas, and I would see these little government houses. And in front of that government house, the, the door was usually open, and the, the, the older people and the kids, and there's always at least a half a dozen people sitting on the porch. They didn't have nothing to do. They didn't have nothing for the kids to do. They didn't have nothing for the young girls to do. And because they were basically on government subsidy, and so now what do they do? They abort their, their young children. They put their young men in jail because they never, they never learned how to get cotton. And I've often wondered, are they better off as slaves, taking cotton, having family lives to do things, or are they better off in the government subsidy? Yeah, they didn't get no more freedom, and they got less freedom. They had less uh, family uh, alive, and their happiness, you can see in their faces, they wouldn't have to stand on that concrete sidewalk. They don't have to go to the church. So that's all That's not freedom. Now let me talk. Okay, um, should be done echoing. Could you all hear that? Remember that yourself. Yeah, I heard it. Ohio, what do you think? It wasn't really audible for me. I couldn't understand what it said. Somebody's got two mics open or something. Terrible echo. La, la. Okay, I was just checking to see who it is. I'm going to mute somebody and please tell me who you are when I unmute you, please. It's cleared up now. Okay. Yep, that's because they left. Should we try it again? I think we've all listened to it. I don't know. Ohio One hasn't. Oh. This is Florida One. What are we listening to? It's a two-minute long statement of Clive and Bundy. Oh, okay. Hey, sorry about that. My phone got disconnected. Um, Barbie, to answer your question, uh, I, I couldn't really understand what it said. It wasn't really audible to me because I'm on earbuds right now. Okay. Do you want me to try and play it again? Um, if you could give me a word by word of what he said, that'd be better. I can't do that. I'll mess it up. Okay. Um. Basically, he, he, Michigan 10, can you do that? Michigan 10. Barbara, you could play it through your, uh, speakers and stuff onto the call, just like, uh, Brian did last night. I was trying to. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, down the top call, there's a button that says uh, play music or whatever, and then you pick the file that you want to play or whatever, and yeah, then you that play. Yeah, have to download it, right? Well, you don't have to download it. You can play it right off the thing. I mean, I DJ music on that free conference, on uh, not free conference call, but on the thing all the time. <clears throat> But he figured out how to do it last night. That's how he did it. But I don't think he figured out the amp and how to turn it down and up and all that. Well, but you can turn it up and down and all that. Okay, hold on. I've got an idea. The only thing is, it's so hard to find that little link. Post forever. Okay. So, um, everybody hit mute again, please. 
And I'm watching, so mute, mute your phones, please, or your Skypes, please, so we don't have the feedback. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this will work. They were happy. Yeah, it, it, it's not freedom to be dependent on a government to keep to feed your family and house you and uh, provide for you. That's you not really need to listen to the entire uh, segment there. Uh, that's what the newspapers are doing is using that one clip. But for everyone on here to get a full grasp of what he was saying, you need to sit down and watch his entire interview there. Uh, what that that comment there went from, he was given a, a explanation of his view from the L.A. riots when he was a younger man. And that's how it led into this. And the media has picked this one little excerpt out of an hour long thing. And that's all they want to talk about is that part. It's just like when people talk about uh, scriptures or things in books. You can take any one sentence, paragraph, statement. If you don't read what's before it and what's after it, you can say that center thing makes says any damn thing you want it to say. So basically, they're just, they're just sitting there cherry picking out of uh, what he's saying in order to demonize and slander. But this one thing that he slipped up and said, now the media is going to pick up on it and cover it as much as they can for Trevor him as just some old racist dick that hasn't paid his grazing fees in the past 20 years. But yet they couldn't be there when they were facing down the federal government. Well, of course not. That doesn't fit their agenda. So I, I think, you know, maybe it would help if we called him and asked him, why do you do this? It ain't going to hurt any. Are you talking about calling Clausen or are you talking about calling the media? I'm talking about calling the media. Go for it. If you need a, you need moral support or need a, a second hell, a second line in, I can help you out because I have a way with words. Well, the one that I, the one that I saw posted was from KDVR.com and I looked him up. I have the main line, the tip line, and the newsroom number. All right. Well, what we need to do is we need to figure out a way to, for me and you both, oh, what I can do is I can call you and then call them and uh, merge the conversation. But we also need to figure out a way to, to tap the conversation to record it. That well, way we can... Ohio One, you're kind of a little bit late here. Um, oh, I, okay. <laughs> I now have moderating capabilities, so I can shut the recording off and restart it as we call them, and do the first thing recorded. Awesome. Yeah, I, that is great. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. Go ahead. I just, to, I just posted what Sean Hannity is saying now about the need to grow the park. And guess what, guys? He sold Clyde and Bundy out as well. So if you go to my page, the story is posted by me, and uh, there's even an audio clip attached with it. So now, if it, he, this is, just wait for the raid to happen. That's all you can do now. <laughs> Both sides have sold them out, all the way up to Sean Hannon. So something's up, some kind of deal was struck, some, something's going on that we don't know about. Wow. And, and that's posted where? I just posted it on my Facebook page. Uh, my name is Chris, C-H-R-I-S. Last name is Born, O-R-N-N. Okay, okay. I just printed you a little while ago. Yeah, and it's right. It's, I just I just shared it. Okay. And the comment will take you uh, to the story and to the, the quick piece point out the bottom. Hey, Barbie. It's not looking good. Yeah, third one. Uh, um, another thing I wanted to address, uh, a page fan brought up a uh, 
Uh, he brought up the fact that there could be a couple infiltrators amongst the militia. Uh, is, there any, is there any way that we could relay this info to a trustworthy boot? It's already. Then, this, this has been talked about for past week. Okay. I, it's already. I must, I'm, I must have missed the conversation. Yeah. Um. The, a caller brought it up, and I questioned the boot, and they responded. It, they've known about that possibility from day one. Have they been able to root out any uh, any moles yet? Not that I know of, but there has been people thrown out of camp, and I don't I don't know the reason why. Well, if they're finding moles, why aren't we uh, why aren't we arresting them rather than just throwing them out? Um, because technically, there's nothing you can arrest them for. What can you arrest them for? Treason. They're working for an outside uh, entity. They are uh, providing aid to a foreign invader. So that is treason. To do that, we have to arrest the foreign invader. Well, it sounds good in theory, and I'm, hey, I'm the first one there with you on it. I, I've been shouting it for the past week, you know. We can't be the ones to do it. They have to. And until the Bundys say, okay, this is what I want done, and they have to go to the district attorney's office, file the charges. Every one of those 200 agents should have charges on them. And then from there to whoever the supervisor was, from the supervisor on up the line. Well, I've already heard about criminal charges coming to the BLM. I'm just wondering if there's any way that we could actually get this ball rolling to where it's a, it'll snowball into a big old snow boulder. Well, see, that's just it. We can't because, one, we don't live in the state of Nevada. Two, they didn't do the crime against us. I mean, I would love to be able to call my sheriff's officer and tell him, I want to file charges against that little faggot that threw Miss Margaret to the ground. Because it offended me, but he, he's going to laugh at me. You yeah. Know? He can't do anything from Arkansas. I'm just trying to think of a way to where, to where uh, we could get someone there in Nevada to be able to do it somewhere there in Bunkerville within Clark County. I, they can find. I am working on that. The county right next to theirs, they live in Clark County, and the county right next to theirs, I have a contact there. And I was talking to her about it, and she went to the town meeting and was talking to someone who's very vocal. I think he's been on the line, and he hasn't said anything yet. Um, I'm just waiting for her to get back to me and say yes or no, whether he'll talk to us. So, right. I'm uh, keep, trying. <laughs> keep me posted on that. Not a problem. Just you got you got to remind me because there's so many things that I'm. I have four notebooks now. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm I'm right there with you. It's crazy. There's so much. Hey, it's, it's well worth uh, well worth doing the service that not very many people are willing to do for their nation. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Amen, brother. I try to do as much as I can, but I can only do so much. Right now, I'm sitting here. My eyes, I ate something and my belly's full. My eyes are starting to close. I took my medicine, which has codeine in it. My eyes just want to go close. Yeah, I, I just had out my, uh, my spinal doctor's appointment and I have to have a, an epidural, uh, steroidal injection into my spine. Ow! Oh yeah, it's gonna be real fun. Well, I had to go for, uh, ultrasound this morning and they told me no food or drink for eight hours beforehand. And they, then they changed it from eight o'clock at night till my appointment time. Well, I have, I think I'm developing pollen allergies. Cause as soon as spring hits, oh, the back starts stripping and everything. Especially if I take a drink, I'm fine. But not being able to take a drink, I was coughing and gagging and coughing and gagging. My throat felt like it was closing because it was so swelled and irritated. So I went to my appointment this morning and they did the ultrasound. And then the doctor came in and they were looking at it and looking at it. And then the doctor went back out and the lady was looking at it some more. And she said, well, we're going to have you come back in tomorrow. I'm like, why? She said, well, we, we're not getting a good enough picture. We want you to come back in tomorrow. So I said, okay. So when I walked outside, I called the doc's office. I said, look. They told me I have to come back tomorrow for another one. So can you give me some cough syrup, some good cough syrup, so that I'm not coughing all night again, so I can get at least my two hours of sleep that I normally get? So he prescribed me some cherry tussin. It's cherry tussin with uh, codeine in it. I, I took a sip, and the swelling just evaporated out of my throat. I felt so much better. Did I bore everybody now? No, I'm I'm listening. I'm just uh, I'm in the middle of heavy traffic right now. Any idea why they want me to come back for a second ultrasound? Um, where, where did you say they did the ultrasound at? If you take your finger and you run it down the center of your chest, and you get right underneath your breast area. Your like, diaphragm? Yeah, 
Where's your diaphragm? Right there. Okay, if you go two fingers to the left from the diaphragm, I have a big lump. And it's almost, it, when I found it, it was the size of a jelly bean, and now it's about the size of an egg. That sounds like, uh, that's right there in your right up quadrant. That would be where your liver's at. Oh, so I don't drink enough alcohol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, actually, I, I know uh, all too much about right upper quadrant area. I have two liver diseases myself. Well. Um, sometimes uh, they said that they aren't able to get good enough pictures. Uh-huh. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it could be where you haven't drank anything. Well, they told, they told me not to eat or drink from 8 o'clock on. Hold on a second. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna see what my mom says about this. She's actually kind of knowledgeable on this stuff. I'm gonna put it on mute real quick. Tell her I said hi too. I will do. She said hi back. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else can speak up at any time if you have anything you want to add to this conversation. I know we're, we're talking about my lump, but hey, we can change the subject if you want. And if nobody talks up, then I'll just keep talking and 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 talking because now I got my good syrup and. It ain't gonna hurt so much. Let's, let's talk about the press conference. What, what do we know about that? Uh, we're going to try to arrest the sheriff. Is that what you're saying? That's what somebody else is saying. Yes, I'll well, not tell you. It's at one o'clock. So has anybody see that? He's the only person to arrest the sheriff in county court. So no. Uh, yeah, that's the only hey, person Barbie. to arrest the sheriff. The district, hey, district attorney couldn't do it. Hmm? The district attorney couldn't do it. No. Every, everything I've always read and always known for the last 20 years, the only person who can arrest the sheriff of the county is county court. Because they're hey, impartial. They are not a uh, political person. Okay, hold on for one second. Go ahead, Ohio One. Um, do you have to push hard to feel it? Nope. It's right That's, okay. the, that's right there at the surface? Yep. And it moves. You can move it. Hey, Chris, I'm going to look that up. I'm going to Google that shit and see what I can find. There has to be somebody that can arrest him. Can you move it? Yeah, can you move it around to like? I'm can you move it around to like? Right on it. Yeah, I can move it left, right, up, and down, and you can like pinch my skin and pull it up away. Oh look, it must be something that everybody's googling because it popped right up. Who can arrest a sheriff? If you're living under prison by these constitution, and like he is the only person that can arrest the sheriff of the county, county court. That is so weird. No, think about it. It's true. He's got a judge that have that the county coroner takes care of the dead people. They don't. They don't have a political a political leg involved in it. They take care of the dead people. So why not have somebody like that and do that? So if you guys see the county coroner out there, things can get really, really exciting. Okay. Hi, hey, Barbie. Yeah. Can you push it? Like, can you move the lump from side to side around underneath your skin? Yep. I'm, all right. What are you gonna say about that? How, when did you find that? About two months ago. Two it, months ago. So it went from a jelly bean to the size of an egg in under two months. A small egg, yes. A small egg. Uh, that's most likely it's what's known. It's called a fatty tumor, and what it is is just a buildup of uh, excess uh, fat cells, basically, and it concentrates into one area. And what the, the reason I say the reason why they want you to come back is so that. The reason why they want you to come back is so that they can get better imaging. They they have to the, 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 the shape and size of the tumor tells them a lot of stuff. And it, you know, I'd say that they're probably wanting to get better measurements than what the ultrasound provided. Well, I I really think if they just put a little cut in my skin there, you could squeeze the end of it and it just pop right out. Or is it hardened? The lump itself is hard, but the whole way around it's soft. She says, uh, my mom said that if it's something movable that you can, like, sit there and move around under your skin, it's typically not anything to worry about. It's whenever something is hard and you can't move it from that spot, it's whenever it's, uh, it's not benign. Yeah, I wasn't really worried about that. I just would like it to go away. <laughs> well, I'm sure they can make that happen for you. And while they're in there taking that out, they can take as much fat as they want. I'll gladly donate it. <laughs> if anybody would like to... I'm on Facebook. I'm trying to get the a, a link for you on that conference at one o'clock. My Facebook doesn't want to work. So when are we uh when are we gonna call the media? Um, I'm waiting for Chuck to come back and Ohio one to say he's stable that he can talk to. This is Ohio one. <laughs> oh well, as soon as you're in it, it is where you're sitting down, 
So you can talk. We'll get Chuck in here, and then we'll call. All right. Uh, I'm on my way home. I'm on my way down the highway from Columbus. Uh, I gotta go to the pharmacy, and then I gotta head home. And I, once I get home, I'll we'll be able to do that. You know about an estimated time of arrival? Uh, about if everything goes as planned, about three and a half hours. Oh wow! We're gonna be pushing it on them leaving for the night. Yeah, I know. I'm uh, Columbus is about two and a half hours away from where I'm at. If the traffic is bad, two hours of traffic is good. And do, you, then, do you have a signal as good as what you got right now, the whole way home? Not the whole way home, but right now I've got full bars. All right, let me move out and see if I can call Chuck and see what he thinks, and we'll get him in here and we'll call him. Sounds good. Hey, uh, everybody's here pretty good with the consultation today. I know it, and they have read it and understand it. I mean, I'm, I'm far from understanding, but does anybody else? Anyone here? Hello? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what you were saying. Could you repeat that, please? Yeah. Is anybody here really good with the Constitution? I mean, know it really, really well. Understand it. Yes and no. Hello? Yes and no. Okay, so Article 4, Section 4. If everybody reads that, tell me what you think of that and why that could be applied in this situation. Okay, I mean, I mean, I mean, plain and simple, Harry Reid is threatening constituents in his own state with the threat of domestic violence. He's talking about sending people in to beat up on his own people. Now, Article 4, Section 4 says that it's the federal government's job to prevent things like that from happening. So why couldn't they apply that in this situation and yank him from power? They probably could. So... The whole problem is, about that. Listen, I posted that, that on Harry Reid's page yesterday, and that went down, and I am now banned from his page. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I, you know, and I had other people try to post it here last night as well, and it, it's gone too. Okay. So that is something that somebody needs to check out. I mean, okay. plain and simple, you know, he's beating up on his friends, beating up on his own people. That, that by definition, is domestic violence. Well, the, uh, the only problem is is finding a law enforcement official with enough balls to go in there and arrest Harry Reid, which, uh, I'm sure if we found the right sheriff, he has the, uh, he has the, uh, the jur- uh, the, uh, shit, what's the word? Yeah, he I has the arrest legal, power for it. I'm not a legal you, person by any means, but, I, uh, I mean, they're okay looking at this. Can I chime in here? This is Chuck. Hey, Chuck. The this problem is, we Wait a minute, Chuck. That's not what we need you for. We need you for something else. Okay. Um, there was a post placed on my wall earlier. And, of course, now my Facebook is going to freeze. But it was from kdvr.com. And it says, well, Barbie, did y'all see this? And the title is Nevada Rancher Bundy, semicolon, quotation, the Negro, quotation, better off as slave. Mm -hmm. And and kdvr.com are the ones that put this out. What I would like to do, Chuck, with your help and Ohio One's help, so don't monopolize, I would like to call kdvr.com and ask them on record why they chose that partial of a sentence for a headline. Well, I've been I've been working. Can you bring me up to speed? I was, when I was talking to um, <clears throat> um, well, one of the guys out there. Um, I'm terrible with names. I, he mentioned that and said that it was a complete twisting of what was said. What what did he say exactly in context? I I, I have not looked at. It. I've been working on audio and visual. Basically, um, okay, somebody else was saying it better than me. Who was saying it? Chris, were you? Chris? I mean, I can I can try and get to it today, read the article, see what's going on okay, with it. Yeah, I, okay. okay, basically the gist of it was that Clinton Buddy was talking about when he was younger, he remembered uh, the riots, and, and he started talking about all kinds of different races, just not one. But then he came to the black, you know, talking about the black race and said that they would have, would he, he, was, he was talking about how he saw things. How, how he saw it when he went into town one time and saw all the, you know, all the black people sitting on their front porches, you know, looking like they aren't very happy. And then, you know, he starts, you know, starts talking more and more and more. And then he said something like, you know, you have to wonder, you ask yourself if you think they were better off in the, in the fields picking cotton or better off on the, you know, the government dole was basically the just the statement that he was saying. How he saw it. Not, you know, it wasn't racist. They've been waiting for a moment like this. This interview happened on Saturday. They've been going over everything he says until they could find something that they could split us on and drive us away, he's, drive he's us apart on. He can be a and worse, exactly worse than just that. You know, they need to they need to tell him, you know, stay the hell away from the press. That's, that's right. I just, sent a, I just sent a, uh, an email to their media person and tell them to stop having to talk to the press. If you're going to have them talk to the press, have the media person there Who, with him. Who's who's the media person? Well, I, I got two phone, two email addresses sent to me this morning. 
on the phone. They, if somebody is actually hand, supposedly handling media, would you have them give me a goddamn call? Because they're not working yeah, on social media at all. They're, they're, they're doing, yeah. They, they're, they're letting, uh, you know, he did an interview with Glenn Beck where Glenn Beck basically tricked him into saying things that he shouldn't have been saying. Oh, not, he even know about it. He's, a, he's a freaking rancher. Yeah, he works um, in the fields all day. Well, we're losing, the propaganda, we're losing the propaganda war. Um, if you've got numbers for people who are supposed to be handling the media, give me the damn numbers so I can call them up and say, what in the fuck are you doing? Well, I don't know if they, remember they are Mormon. I don't know if you want to use that language. Well, I mean, they're, <laughs> you mean they're not part of the oh, Okay, then the wrong people are handling, but I'll try not to use that language. Listen, so I, I think, a lot, of this I I think a lot of this stuff is being handled by their family. Okay. Well, I need, so, I need the numbers so I can call them up and say, okay. you are really blowing okay. Here's where the media inquiries are supposed to go to. It's supposed to contact Shauna or Ashley at P R E S S at G. Shauna or Ashley? Mm hmm. Okay. At P R E S S at G M N dot I S. Holy Moses. Or news desk at the same address. Okay, wait a minute. This is. This and, is can somebody cut and paste that onto my page? <laughs> hang on, I'll. Hang on. It's the longest, I have you on. Yeah, I've ever seen. It is coming. Hang on, I have you on private. Protect, from the protect, other day. protect it to me. Yeah. If you yeah. Anyway, they, they've got to get this. This is what I. Well, um, let me I think they have help down there, you guys. I mean, how come they don't have a press person on? Why don't they have a propaganda arm? Is the right word. Okay? Right. The proper English term is propaganda. Well, they don't. They don't. They don't think like that. Yeah. They, you know, these are, these are cattle but, ranchers, you guys. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, and that's and that's the problem. I, I asked Ray, you know, to whenever there's a wedding out there today, okay, and the Bundys are going to be there and everything. I said, get by whoever's handling this, give them my number, you know, so that I can talk to these people. So you're losing this, this propaganda war. And, you know, they need, nobody's communicating with people like me and, and coordinating a campaign, you know, to, you know, to show the truth and to show them as people, you know, and we need to be working the social media like crazy. And they're not. Just my point coming in. Okay. They're using his words by twisting them in small quotations. If they can use them against him, why can't we use their words against them? Why can't we, we call these people? care. Put the recording on as we're dialing the number so we get it from the dialed number. Barbie, I said this earlier. Hey, I'm live on the air on our conference call, and I would like to talk to the person who wrote this story. I would like to talk to the person who headlined this story. Hang on a second. Let me, I have uh, three contact numbers. Let me shrink a half dozen browsers here. Let me check on one thing real quick. I think I checked it the other day, but let me double check the recording while I was in Nevada. Hey, that, their new press conference should be going on right now. So, I, don't, I don't have time. Where are at? I don't know. That's what I've been trying to find out. I've been looking. I can't find it either. I usually don't find them until 6 o'clock. Listen, somebody needs to be down there with them as a press person. <laughs> I, would, I would, but I've got a fight here in Texas I'm working on as well. Uh, uh, I mean, that, I, 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 would love, I would love to. And uh, I also have a 90-year-old father living across the street from me. Oh, yeah. My sister to come up and cover him. That's what was going to happen when I was going there before. My sister was going to cover him. But where am I going to be most effective, doing what I'm doing now, or being one more body boots on the ground with no internet connection? Well, uh, you can be their propaganda guy. Well, that's yeah, the thing. If I can just get them on the phone. If I have to, and they say, well, we come here and help us with it, okay, I'm on my way. But if I'm going to get there and have to deal with drama queens and, you know, positions and all this, I'm, I'm not into all that. I don't have time no, for it. Again, the buttons aren't like this. this is, you know, I grew up in an LDS family. These guys are strong strong LDS family, they're up against things. They know what they're up against, but they don't know how to fight this fight without help. Oh and you can see it, they're getting their butt kicked this morning as soon as they woke up. My lawmakers up here just bailed off, so they aren't going to be going into Clark County anymore. They said, watch Shea County, wherever that's at, or Nia County, or wherever. They said that there's something going on up there next. And I bet they're still going to fight against, you know, they're still going to fight against the, the federal government, against, you know, taking federal lands and getting it back. But they, they, won't, they won't be in Clark County anymore. That's my <laughs> county. I can right. He 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 has not. I've asked him for a statement this morning, and he sent me back another message saying sorry for the short responses. He's absolute slam. Uh, he said that there's some stuff going on in Nye County, so you can be watching for Nye County and action there next. It'll, it'll be legal proceedings. I'm trying to determine the recording laws in Nevada. We have to be careful of that. And it's not it's not as cut and dry as it is in most states. No, this is rather convoluted reading right here. Most times I know in about five seconds, but in this case it's making me read a lot of crap. Dead air, don't let there be dead air, no dead air. Have I lost you guys? No, I imagine oh. everybody's probably looking stuff up and okay, try, yeah. to find the, yeah. try to find the press conference. And, you know, I mean, 
how do we, you know, everybody right now that has been involved with this is now trying to figure out what to do next. Well, how, how do they combat this? Nobody's ever stood up to the racism divide before. Um, uh, do this though. We're we'll turn around and, and I'll try and contact them. You try and contact them. Everybody try and contact them and get them in touch with me. So I can talk to them about what's going on out here. They don't know. Their their nose is right, you know, up against the glass, and they need uh, they need somebody telling them the perspective that you're losing the propaganda war. You know, keep your daddy should not be talking to the press. He needs a press person who handles press releases, you know, and preferably someone who's from the militia should be doing. It. The family hey, uh, should be kept at a distance. Hey Barbie. Hey Barbie, you still here? Well, anyways, uh, I was, I was going to run an idea across Barbie, and I'm going to I'm going to pull you uh, pull you guys in on too. Uh, we need to attack this from two different angles, if possible. Um, one, as an infiltrator, and two, as you guys stated just now, uh, call the, you know, the people, the Bundys and tell them they're losing the, uh, the propaganda war, that they need a PR relations person, uh, or a PR person. Uh, but me and, uh, what me and, uh, Barbie can do is call and act like we are supporters of what they have done and how they have twisted it. And we catch them in the act. We catch them red-handed as them talked about how they twisted the word and how they had a good time doing it. Well, we, can, can, I don't think I'd be able to do that because I am a horrible liar. Well, I can do it. I, I'm not. A, I'm not a good liar or anything like that. But when it well, comes they're gonna, to a, they're not. They're not stupid, and they're going to know. You know, you'll have to. You'll say, you know, who are you with, and this and that, and it's going to be really hard to pull off. But what we need well, is if you if you listen to what I have to say, it's not going to be hard to pull off. What I want to do is hit the record button when I dial the number, and I'm going to tell them I would like to speak to whoever wrote the headline for this article. They ask me who I am. I'm going to say I'm Barbie Rogers, and I'm going to say it just like I normally say it. With uh, don't do that unless you tell them they're recording it. I'm going to. They're okay. There are. It is a. It is a. Apparently, a two-party state. Uh, figure since Harry Reid comes out of there that he had got the law put in place so that you can't record without letting them know. It is one of the states where you have to have, um, so I don't have to warn people most of the time. Colorado is? Pardon? Colorado is? No, Nevada. Okay, they're not in Nevada. They're in Colorado. Oh, well, let me pull up Colorado. See, you, you need to stop talking and listening to me so Oh, no, I just missed it. I mean, you're talking about he's doing an interview with somebody. What the hell is somebody from Colorado interviewing for? Exactly. Huh. And let alone, you know, picking out these words. And when they ask me who I'm with, I'm going to tell them. I'm with the community conference call. We are currently on the air, and you are being recorded. Oh, don't warn, don't warn them if you don't have to. Well, then find out if I have to. That's what I'm looking for. I have no problem telling them that they are, because then they know, you know, well, if I hang up, it's going to look bad on us, because I am going to post feed everywhere. Look, we tried to ask them about the headline. They hung up on us. What oh, kind that, 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 in its, that in itself is good audio. Exactly. That in itself is good audio. Propaganda against the Bundys, we can play it back against them. I wouldn't be surprised if Colorado That's, that's what I'm saying. If, we, if me and Barbie attack it from a saboteur or a standpoint, like, that would uh, be amazing if you know we'd be able to give them a dose of their own medicine. They'll hang up anyway. And that's okay. They can. But <laughs> that'll be enough to get them anyway. <laughs> exactly. They're better off defending themselves and, you know, going, you know, saying why they wrote it or whatever, or even pawn it off on someone else. <laughs> oh, well, we didn't write it, but I could get you to the okay. right to the party. You need a number or what? No. Col Col Colorado is a one-party state. Um, I don't have to. I, I, let me, let me uh, finish the rat count. Thank you for bringing me this to my attention. But let, me, uh, let me finish this video I'm working on and get it rendering, which will take an hour and a half or so, and then okay. post it, and that will take another hour and a half. But while it's doing that, then I can take a look at this and see if, um, you know, how, I, how I would handle it um, as far as you know, calling him up and identifying myself as a blogger and, I'll, you know, what's this redneck out here saying type of thing. And, um, don't over, don't over complicate. Yeah, well, I'm not, don't worry about it, but we can all try it for that matter. But if we record it, they hang up on us and just refuse to even discuss it. That, that in itself is good audio. And that's the headline. Um, but if somebody can, um, please, somebody do everything you can to get me in touch with, um, uh, with these girls that are handling this, this media. They have no idea what they're doing. Well, Chuck, please keep in mind Colorado, I believe, is on Central Time. If not, it's on the same time as you are in Texas. Colorado. Hey guys, I got it. I got the, I got the link for the uh, press conference. I just shared it on my page. Uh, he's like living again out there by himself talking. Okay. okay. Uh, would you share that on? Would you stick that on my page as well, so I don't have to go hunting for it? It's Chris. Oh, okay. Yeah, Chris. Hang on, hang on a second. I want to get it turned on and going. Yeah. Um, Chris, what's your last name? I, I've been looking for thirty minutes. I still can't find you. I thought I had you on Friends. This is for. It's uh, B, B as in boy, O, R, N, S, T, E, D, T. The video is 
coming from M S M P C so this should be interesting. Uh hang okay. on here a second. Okay. Um it's also live on rawstory.com. Yes. <clears throat> I'd, I'd go to rawstory.com. I wouldn't go to MSM because you don't give them the numbers. Okay. Uh, what is that? What's your last name? George? Okay. I'll be back in just a little while, guys. Okay. It's B as in boy. O. R. N. As in Nancy. S. T. E. B. T. Okay, I thought, all right. Yeah. I have a little yellow ticker that says Republican, Democrat, or pissed off. I've been looking for the other one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my problem is I can't play the, I can't, I can't really play the video on my phone and have y'all talk because, uh, even when I have it muted, I can't hear it. <laughs> well, jump off, watch the video. Hey guys, I got one other question real quick. Sidebar. Are you there? I'm a little quiet. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, I, if I, if I, when I get done with all this other rat killing, I want to plan a show tonight on, uh, on my blog talk channel, uh, for a three hour show. And I was thinking about, uh, simulcasting, uh, with you guys, um, as a, as a blog talk radio show. And, uh, I'll get, um, I'll see if I can get boots on the ground out there to, you know, call in and we can just talk, you know, have chats with them about the conditions and, and things like that. Chuck, I'll send uh -huh. you a text message about that, okay? Okay. 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 Um, I'm, I'm back to rat killing. I'll be back in a little while. <laughs> okay, Harvey. Yeah. So, uh, do you think what I was talking about would possibly be a good idea? Give me a second, and um, you can rem remind me what you said. I'm watching the video. All right, just let me know. All right. All right, what I was talking about is uh, how we need to attack this at two different angles. One, we have to have someone with good PR uh, capability working with the Bundys, and then whenever we call the media, how you said, put their own words on them, we call in as supporters of the uh, headline that was written. We, we pretty much sit there and praise them for what they're doing and see if we can get some sort of admission out of them where they're like, yeah, we, we have a way where we can just take those words and put them this way and people just go crazy about it or just something to that effect, something to where there, there's an omission of, uh, guiltiness on their part without them even realizing. They're not, they're not gonna admit it. They know what they did. They do it all the time. That's their job. I, I, I know, I know, but what I'm saying is a lot of people get their, a lot of people get their reality from, you know, media outlets, the very people that twist words and uh, portray, uh, words in the wrong way. If we could get them to admitting to the fact that they are twisting it, we would be able to take that and show people what's going on. We'd be able to get that to go, possibly get it to go viral and spread it throughout the entire internet. That way people, when they start watching it, they have a little bit of that doubt in the back of their mind that, hey, this could, you know, this could be, uh, this could mean something else. They're just taking it and twisting words and, uh, having their own play on words right now. I just don't think that would work because I, I Huh? You know, he's, he's, you know, on there right now listening to him say he's wondering if they're better off. So, I mean, he's, he's doubling down on what he said. This, this is why he needs a media guy down there. Ohio One, do you want to hear this? Come again? Do you want to hear this press conference? Um, I do, but I doubt it would be, uh, very audible for me. I'm, I'm going down the highway with just earbuds in and every, anytime, like the last, whenever, uh, you played the, uh, the press conference where they, he was stating about, you know, the Negroes could have been better off as slaves or whatever, uh, it was very sharp and hard for me to understand. Uh, I'm gonna, if you could, uh, send me the link in a PM and when, as soon as I get home, I'll watch it and, uh, we'll go from there. Holy shit. What's up? Do what? Barbie, what are you holy shitting about? He's getting fired up. Ohio One, when you watch this, you're going to know exactly why I want to do what I want to do. Alright, uh, like I said, uh, send it to me at PM and I'll let you know if I'll look up from there and I'll watch it. Okay, I forgot to unmute myself. Everybody clap on that one. Chris? Yes? What do you, Hello? What do you think? 
I, I have, I'm kind of having a hard time understanding the questions that are being asked of them and, and what it's saying. Audio. I said, um, what do you think? What do you think? What do I think? Uh, yeah, this interview. Well, I don't, I don't think there's enough media there, that's for sure. I only see one microphone, so nobody's listening except for that one local news channel. There could be others there. We just aren't seeing them. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out tonight on MSNBC, on Fox News, where they're going to take it. Because all the people that have been supporting him at this point this morning came out and, and have pretty much hammered on him for this conversation. And, and I'm telling you what, these people are smarter than, than this. They know the entire, they know what he was saying. And they're perfectly taking it out of context on both sides. That's not, that's, that's obvious. So there's been some kind of deal struck with, with Senator Reid that pulled some kind of string to get everybody on the same page as far as lawmakers are concerned. That's, that's the only reason to see the media turn on him like this overnight, over comments that were made, what, on, on Saturday? This is Thursday. So this is planned. This is, this is you know, come on, you guys. Both sides have turned on him now. This isn't a good situation. This isn't a good thing for him. That's what I think. But, you know... <laughs> I think, I'm just a guy in Washington. <laughs> I think he's going to overcome it. I really do. Not, not, not with all the media working against him. They'll drown him out. You know, the only way we can get this out to people, if they don't start talking about it on the major, major channels, is going to be the Internet. Look, right there. Look at there. Fox 5 News. Now they show up. Who is it? Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Well, they'll, 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 they'll rebroadcast that then, too. They'll, feel, you know, they'll broadcast that and all that. Security. I think he handled it pretty well. He he really did. I still want to call them though. Oh, you see the French mask there? Yes, I did. Yep, yeah, those guys. Those guys uh, were trying to get the burning men down there next to the ranch to get awareness up in their own way. <laughs> you know, the bunnies would view it as Sodom and Gomorrah just moved in next door. But the, the, what they were trying to do was to raise awareness and get a different crowd of people down there and get more people down there and talking about it. Mm -hmm. This group, the Bernie Man, they're all about anarchy. They're all about, believe it or not, living their lives the way that they want to freely. I mean, they go out into the desert, they strip their clothes off, and they do whatever they want to for a solid week. While they're out there, they have their own economy, their own, I mean, their own thing. They end up burning uh, an idol at the, the last night that you can see from outer space. So these guys are all about living free, and they were going to come down and set up for 30 days next to the Bundy Ranch, and that would have done two things. Yes, that would have pretty much scarred them for life, the Bundys, but Chris. it would have got a lot of people down there. Did you see them? See who? Right now, look at the screen. No, I'm in the, I'm in the kitchen now. This dude just went off on the one news guy. He was screaming at him. Oh, yeah, that's going to be, uh, that'll be the headline tonight. Bundy Ranch person attacks uh, news media. Nope, he walked Goes off on news media. He screamed at him, and he walked away. There's not very many people there, you guys. No, they need more boots on the ground. We've been saying that. Yeah, but well, people, people, after today, people aren't going to want to go unless... Uh, new people aren't going to want to go. This is for so my volume just popped back. Barbie, Barbie, can anyone hear me? I was muted because my volume just popped back up. I hear you. This is Florida One. I need to weigh in on what he just said. I can't tell, talk about numbers. But I will tell you that we do need 30 to 50 or more in order to man uh, three, three, three shifts a day. But I will tell you that there's more boots on the ground than you think. Well, no, that's what I was saying. That there's, don't, don't there's let, more there. Don't, for let, don't get underestimated. I mean, don't underestimate them is what I'm saying. Because, you know, right now, if the feds was to move in, they would be underestimating. And the reason why the feds haven't is because there's numbers there. So don't estimate it because they got drones in the sky. They know the numbers. They know how many there. If there was not many there whatsoever, only 20 or 30 or 40 or even 100, trust me, the feds would have moved in by now. Listen, listen, you guys. The, the, num the number of the people that are there right now is out there. If you look, I can tell you the number of the estimated people out there, but we're being asked not to. But if you go out and research it yourself, you can find the guesstimated number. In fact, they even use the guesstimated number on TV if you listen. Yeah. The guesstimated number is not right, though, because I know how many, how many, I, I know the true numbers on the ground. Listen, I know the estimated number is not right either. Whatever number the government throws you is always, it's always going to be wrong. But you are right. They are estimating there are a lot of people on the ground. Shit. Well, 
check this out. They never ever see it like there's hosts. There's like I'm not even gonna I can't post like I'm just gonna call ten. You know ten areas. There's a certain amount of people in each area. So when there's media, he's got garden stuff and people around him, but there's nowhere near them people around him that has actually surrounded the ranch. So, you know, the number, even though they might say, oh, there's a couple of hundred or there's a 50 or 60 or 20 or 30 around that food feed, there's people out and about patrolling the whole ranch. So, I mean, you're never going to see all the numbers at once. Just on the media because they don't want to give up their position. Right. Well, what I'm saying is they need to get more supporters in camp there, you know, when he does media things like that. For one, Robin Bundy should always, just like uh, presidents or whoever's going to go on there or stars, they are giving a script of what they're going to be asked before they go on to the show. He needs a script of what's going to be asked before he goes on the show so that he can get his press people to look at it and say, here's how you need to word this, because he's just a rancher. The way he words things could be took out of con- context. Oh, yeah, it, it could be. No, it was this morning. <laughs> yeah, he, we've been screaming all morning that he needs a good PR person to step up and be down there for him because they're tripping him up with his own words. Yeah. They're, they're trained to do that. Media people are trained to get you to say things that you do not want to say. And it's, they can do it without you even knowing. And then it's so fun. Someone needs a mute. I'll be rewatching the video. I don't know. Uh, I'll watch it later when they get the audio cleaned up and where you can hear the questions being asked. So. Well, you know, I've heard several people say today that you need to keep him out of the media now and um, he needs to have a spokesperson or he needs to be scripted before he goes on. From what I've seen of the man, none of that's going to work. He's too strong of a man, first of all. And um, if, uh, if this whole battle is to put a puppet up there, it's the wrong battle anyway. No, no, not not saying that they need to speak for him. They need to work with him. They need to stand next to him. And when they start taking him down a road that they should not be going down, and it's the media person's job to step in and say, "Now wait a minute here. This is this is getting on topic. This isn't what we were here to talk about." So on and so on and so on. That is the kind of help that he needs right now when he's talking to people. I'm not saying take him. You know, he shouldn't go out there by himself. Now I agree with with your position, but like I say, several well, people that have chimed in. I've been li- listening all morning. Several people have jumped in here and said, you know, he doesn't need to talk at all. Uh, yeah, I was one of them. I was one of them. I'm trying to explain my position better. Right. Yeah. Now I agree with that at 110. percent He does need to have someone that is in media that has a full grasp that can. If nothing else, stand there and, and give him a hand signal or whatever when they get off topic for him right. just to flow by it. Just and, like when you're in court, your attorney, you know, exactly. is questioning and is out of line. They but interject to, and say, you to know. put him underground would be a bad, bad move. Uh, and right. I, 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 I apologize. I, I explained myself man. wrong. You know, I think he's too strong of a man to, to do that anyway. When, when you start losing the battle, though, like, like I mean, he, he's pretty much been mopped, you know, all over the floor this morning. So when you're losing a battle like that, uh, you, you have to change your strategy a little bit or you're going to go down. He has oh, you're, you're 100% correct. And like you say, I do agree with that 110%. He does need to have a professional media somebody there beside him anytime he's going to talk to a camera. I agree with that 110%. They can't either... Can, can either, you know, hand signal him or step in and say you're off to- topic or something. You right. know what I mean? Right. Uh, I agree with that 110%. But to put a gag on him or take him completely out of the spotlight, I, I think, first of all, no, he would stand for it, and it would be a bad move. Yeah, that, that was my mistake. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I sometimes have a hard time saying what I mean. So sometimes if I can say it in a different way, ask me if you're confused. Sure, my wife yells at me for this all the time. Or to have somebody at least teach him how these people work, you know, because he's like a he's like a sheep surrounded by wolves right now. When oh, he goes yeah. when he goes and starts talking to the press. Oh yeah. Power. 
the media is doing everything they can, and they are all working together to shut him down, to make him toxic. They've already made him toxic to lawmakers because they brought in rape. So it's, it's going to be a uphill battle for him here to get back in control of the media, which it can be done if he gets fair and fair time to talk. You know, I, <laughs> I've never seen both sides of the media like this attack the same thing. How long has it been since you guys have? Seen you're right, but with this position today, the big media outlets were were definitely there. He's got their attention. Like you say, it is a possibility for him to regain control right now with help. While he has all eyes and ears now from both sides, um, you know, um, no, he can't take back what he said. He can't take back the way everybody spun it today. Uh, but at least right now, he's damn sure got the coverage um, of all of them. It looked like the major Fox News um, and everything. Uh, they showed pictures of the vans there. I'm back. I got dropped call somehow. I'm going to go ahead and mute because I have a few things I have to do, but I will be listening. Tim, did you watch that interview? Tim. Sorry, I was trying to unmute. Yes, I did. Could you, did you hear that guy in the background? Who was he hollering at? I think it was the reporters. Um, I, I couldn't tell. I hope that part don't get cut. I want to see who's going to who's hollering at. Did you try to replay it? I didn't try to replay it. Yeah, I tried to replay it. It won't reply. It'll take about 15, 20 minutes so it'll reply. Oh, I got you. Uh, yeah, I, I I couldn't really hear him. I had, I had actually stepped away from the computer. Um, and uh, like I said, I couldn't hear exactly what it, but it looked like to me he was shouting at the news media. I think he gained, gained a little bit of his ground back. But I think we should still twist it around on the media. I really do. Somebody needs to get in their face. It's time. Go Barbie. Go Barbie. Well, get Chuck on the line and dial him up. Do it. He's at the Don't worry. We got to wait. Well, most of the day tomorrow, too. Barbie's changing rooms and not paying attention to the control panel, so don't make me get up and go mute anybody. My puppy dog missed me this morning and they want to cuddle. Hey, I got a question for you. Somebody said earlier that they are using drones. People, people down there. Does anybody got any pictures of that? Was that for me? Yeah, I'm sure anybody who's listening. Somebody said earlier that they were using drones to, to count people, to look at them. And uh, I'm curious how come we haven't seen any pictures of the drones being used against American people because that's pretty big there in itself. That's true. Um, when it was told to me, I did ask if they could get pictures. But usually it's right at dusk that they've been flying over. Uh, there are planes flying over slowly during the day and very low. And there are pictures of them. However, I have not received them yet. Yeah, you got to get those out. To people to let people know that drones are being hacked against our government, on our people. Again, this is a, a hot topic issue right now, and none of the media is talking about that if it's true. So there's another problem. There's another thing that's brought to the attention of the American people using drones against its own citizens. It was I, I, Brown that told us. It was who? I don't remember now. It's been a few days. How long was that no fly zone actually in effect for? It was put in effect for 30 days, and it is still in effect. So we know that the planes that are flying over are being helped. <laughs> exactly. Hey, tell them try to bring a drone down. America will cheer the first person. The first state that brings a drone down, uh, it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> it would be the second state. Colorado already did it. The oh, one, yeah, I haven't heard. Oh, yeah, the one sheriff up there in Colorado um, was given a speech, and there was a drone that came out. And he told somebody to get him his shotgun out of the sky, and he shot it right out of the sky, and he said, and we ain't going to put up with none of that shit. Mm. Yeah, the drone just happened to show up when he was out there talking about it, huh? Yeah, I know, right? But okay, it's cool, too. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm talking a drone. This, this, uh, my money's on Texas. To be the first people to bring out a drone has been for like two years. Uh, somebody's going to bring one down. If, if it's not going to be an older person, it's going to be a kid. <laughs> Well, you know, you think, you think we're rebellious as Americans, our youth are even more, so. Well, you know, they say, uh, you protect your freedoms if your freedoms are within your property. Sorry about this chirping in the background. My son's in the kitchen and the bird feels she has to talk to him. At least being out there going, fucker, fucker, fucker. 
Now, let me let me throw out a question for everybody here. Since I know Becky's not here, right? Becky, you're not here, are you? Becky? Okay. So the question is, if Texas manages to succeed, okay, whether or not Becky's in, running as governor or not, but if Texas as a whole manages to succeed from the state, would you be willing to go down and help Texas protect borders because the United States is going to attack them? Hey, I got another question to tag onto this one, too. How many military bases are in Texas? Um, three. How many? Four to hook, and there's a Air Force base, and there's a, uh, isn't there a Marine base there? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not from Texas, so I'm, I'm you know. I don't know. Google that shit. I stole Brian's sentence. <laughs> Florida one? Oh, Florida one. Yes, Barbie. What are you sending me, honey? Some, uh, some photos that just came into the Ron Paul Institute. Some pretty good ones that we haven't even seen yet. Oh my, they're really tiny. Yeah, they are. That's, that's why I didn't bother copying them and then just sending the pictures. I just sent the whole link. But you know, we haven't saw none of that whatsoever on the, uh, on any photos really or videos. We haven't saw that, them photos of what it really looked like on the ground when they raided the Bundy Ranch. Well, no, that's not true. Um, the first picture is from when they were under, up under the bridge. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the bottom ones where they actually have the guys with the helmets on. We didn't see none of that. Hey, you got a pen? A-K-A-N-A. I enlarged it enough I can see his name on his, uh, right under his walkie-talkie. It's A-K-A-N-A. A-K-A-N-A. Yeah. If you look at the first picture, the guy all the way to the left, his walkie-talkie, him, his handset part is on his chest. Mm -hmm. Right underneath the cord. That's an English name. No, ain't, uh, I can see the other guy's name, too. A Tanner, or A Tanner. What's his last name? I don't know. That's probably his last name. The other one, I can only see the CE on police. He has a police vest on. What about you, buddy? You got a name tag on there? You do, but it's too shadowed. I saw those photos with them having helmets on and daggone gear. I haven't saw that before. Oh, yeah, they had that on under the bridge. They were standing at the back of the truck. Well, yeah, I saw that at the back of the truck, but I didn't see them... Uh, amongst the rest of them, you know, walking around and stuff. I've seen them hiding behind the trucks. Well, I can mark them and see if I can find their name. Unfortunately, when I did, I could never get the picture to go back down. I have to do them one at a time. Okay, I just double-clicked on the second picture and opened up about 50 pictures. Oh, look at you. Aren't you just smiling pretty for the camera? Mr. BLM officer. 457 pictures. This is somebody's private pictures. Y'all need to double click on them pictures with your finger and it opens them up. Okay, Mr. Ranger, what is your name? Walker. J. Walker. Ain't that just such a cute name? You're a J. Walker, huh? The second picture I double clicked on and it opened up. Damn it. Do it again. I want to see all of them. There it is. I'm going to see if I can copy these. Florida one, I'm going to send you some text messages here in a minute. I'm here, are you? Yeah, Hello? can you hear me? Yeah, I had a phone call and I had a decline. <laughs> I thought it kicked me off. Can you hear me? Yeah, Um, somebody took a shitload of pictures. That link you sent me, if you double click on the second picture, it opens up like 400 and some pictures. That's the photographer that sent them in, I think. <laughs> Yeah, well, he got the BLM agents lined up with you can see them. There's a lot of photos there that we haven't saw. Oh, hell yeah. Might be able to get some names off of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm screenshotting like uh, 4, 8, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24 pictures at a time. Oh, go away. Okay. If I get these sent to you, <clears throat> I'm going to mute myself out for a minute so I can try to these send to you, okay? Hey, guys. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Anybody there? Yeah, I hear you. What was that? <gasps> What was the question we were supposed to ask Lieutenant Graham? I said I'd get confirmation on. Oh, the drone. Stop it. 
Never mind, I figured it out. I have one of our boots on the ground texting me now, keeping me apprised of where he's at. He's not currently at the ranch. He's going to be going back there soon. So I'm asking him um, about the PR person. And no, they do not have a PR person for him. And I'm asking him if anyone has any pictures of the planes or the drones that were flying around. Anybody on here? Yeah. Okay. I've gone for a little bit. I just came back at the dead side. <laughs> hey, Barbie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I had to take a break for a little bit. Uh, when, when I saw that or heard that Sean Hannity on his radio show, um, I, I, I about come on blue. <laughs> what did he say? I didn't hear him. Oh, he, he drug, uh, climbing through the mud. Oh, great. He said he was, uh, you know, pretty much deeply, uh, upset that, uh, Cliven would make racist comments. I mean, he couldn't possibly have listened to the whole entire video. I you know, we can't really couldn't have, because Cliven explains himself, you know what I'm saying? And, or clarifies. And, uh, there's no way. He just took a little bit of it like everyone else and ran with it on his radio show this morning. And, and I swear to God, I'll never listen to the guy ever again. You know, he was the only person at Fox News that really gave Cliven any kind of airtime. And, uh, <coughs> you know, it, it, I'm so pissed. And my hands are sore from hitting a punching bag. <laughs> Well, do you understand why I want to attack them back right in their face? I, I think we need to go after the press. I think we need to call press conferences and start asking the press to report correct journalism, report honest journalism again, to stop doing what the government wants you to do, be fair to the people. We're American citizens. We're not stupid. We know he's an old man and he's a rancher, okay? He's not a New York City slicker that he's going to watch every P and Q that he says. Yeah, but people don't understand him. It was like when he was at that press conference just a little while ago, um, he, he was like a baby lamb sitting up there and all the people down on the ground were like, you know, wolves, man. I, you know, they, they know how to trap him into saying stuff that he's going to regret, you know. Michigan 10, checking in. Welcome back. Where, what part of Michigan? Uh, up around Indian River, northern lower. Uh, I, I'm originally from Dearborn. Uh, we used to live in Garden City. For, uh, that's where I grew up, graduated. That's changed quite a bit. Yes, it has. And uh, I don't care for the way it is. I really actually hate admitting that I was born there. Well, it doesn't mean you support some place if you're only born there. I think we need to get groups of people together as these press uh, things come out to go on uh, whatever's online and set the truth straight by posting. We get 100 people that counteract all their false statements there and jump all over them every time they report false things. Probably our only chance of getting it straightened around, getting ridiculous. You know, or, or, you know, as a last resort, just have Cliven get some good counsel on dealing with these people. I almost need a press spokesman that we talked about earlier today. Yeah, he's but... He's just an a average rancher, and he, he's not used to dealing with the media and not used to, I mean, he's used to probably talking to ordinary people. These people are professionals, and they know how to get the words just right to set you up to say something that you're going to regret later, just like you said. He, he's actually got a rancher buddy that has done some videos. I, they were posted on the, the um, uh, Bundy at Blogspot, and uh, that guy's pretty good talking. And he's a rancher. We just got boots on the ground saying, let's do it, I'm in. He wants to mount a campaign against the press, too. Well, we got to do something. Uh, I mean, that's the whole work. entire purpose of this of this conference call, community conference call, is to get the truth. So if, if something comes out and it's a rumor or it's a news story, you can get on here and verify the information in detail. That complete video where he made those statements from start to finish is on the community conference call on Facebook. Anybody can watch it. Anybody can share it. And I encourage everybody to share it to shut these idiots up. Well, That'll be enough of that. Sorry, ringtone. I can't control my phone ringing. 
So do we have a press conference earlier today at the Bundy Ranch? The word earlier this afternoon was they were going to indict the sheriff or some other fellow. Well, I didn't, I didn't see no indictment, but um, I saw Mr. Bundy get up there and and defend himself, and he did really, he did a really well, good job. He really did. But, do we have a link to that? Uh, yeah, I think I do. Okay. Give me a second. Go ahead, the other fellow. Who was that that said, do I have a link for it? Michigan 10? Correct. Oh, i got to find you. Where are you? There you are. If you could paste that on my wall, I'd appreciate it. Paste what on your wall? Uh, I sent it to you in a Facebook message. Okay. The link. I'll, uh, I will do that when I get back in the house. For some reason, I can't, hey, and I can't paste this on my wall. Yes. Barbie, I'm, I'm two clicks from pasting it if you want it. What? The Clive and Bunny interview from today. Oh, I, I, the, li- is the link from your wall? Huh? Which link do you have? The uh, Ross Story one of the interview today. Oh, um, um. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Sorry, ringtones. Well, I'm going to get in, check the computer. I'll get that link post to your uh, page, Barbie, and I'll probably check in after a while. I was looking at the wrong one, Barbie, but I'll find it. Is Chuck on here right now? This is Florida One. Is anyone on? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here, but I'm on the phone. And real Patriots on. Well, Barbie, I know you're on the phone, so you don't have to answer me right now. Just take note that if Chuck comes on, I just happen to fall offline. Can you ask him to friend me on Facebook? And uh, I need to ask him something about my radio uh, station thing. I'm I'm wanting to see what he's using. I might switch my radio station thing, my radio broadcast thing. You gonna be on here a couple of minutes, Florida One? Yeah. Uh, I need to call him anyway. I'll I'll tell him to jump on here. Yeah, I just wanna switch it and and uh, see what he's using because I'm using uh shoot I keep forgetting the name of that dang thing. Hold on, let me look while you do that. He'll be on in just a minute. Hey guys. Hello. Hey Chuck. What's going on? Uh, Barbie's on a phone call. Okay. Well, somebody had a question for me. Florida one did. Okay. Mute, mute. You are now muted. You are now muted. You are now muted. Who the hell are you talking to, darling? Did she mute oh, us all? I have no. Uh, I hear you, partner. Can you hear me? Yeah, this is Tim. She was mad at somebody. <laughs> yeah, it was Florida one. He had come Florida. on. Wanted to talk. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, Chuck, I was wanting to ask you, what what do you use for your radio show? What, Blog uh, Talk. Blog Talk. Are you, I use Spreaker. Is Blog Talk better than Spreaker? I have not tried Spreaker. Uh, Spreaker. Um, I considered looking at it, but I've been, I'm so familiar with uh, with Blog Talk. Uh, they occasionally have problems like any of them. How's, how is Spreaker? How does that work out for you? Well, I'm, I'm a beginner. You know, I, I use it for the tactical thing. I do, you know, tactical type uh, stuff, people talking about tactical shit and stuff like that. But I have problems plugging people into I Of course, I didn't know how to use, uh, I didn't know that they was using Skype either. Other people on radio shows use Skype to plug other people into the calls and stuff. And I didn't know how they were doing that, uh, other than the, just the caller, you know. But, uh. Can you call them through the platform itself? Well, no, uh, I really don't know how that works. You can't call them through the platform itself. They call into the, to the calls and then you can mute people and unmute them just like this. But I don't right. know how to have people call into the, uh, there's a call in number separate than the call in, you know what I'm saying? People yeah. call, they, they a, don't have, and listen a, live. Then there's a yeah. call in number for callers. Right. Well, you have, and so then you have a total of three numbers. One number you call in on and, and log in on. And then you have a guest line and then you have a, a public line, so to speak. Is that right? Yes. Okay. With, uh, with Blog Talk, um, you only have two. You have the, the number you call in to uh, sign in on. And then you have just a public line. But there's a button on there where you can push to dial out to call your guests if you want to call people and bring them in through the platform rather than through your Skype. Because otherwise, you're going to have another browser open handling your Skype, you know, and, and hanging up on people on your Skype and dialing through your Skype and all that. Um, Blog Talk is easy to use. It's not. A, it's more stable than it was. Um, they got a serious attack not too long ago. And... Um, and I had some problems uh, with it periodically. Well, is it new user friendly because someone that's never been in broadcasting before? Yeah, it's not bad. And there's a lot of stuff out on YouTube. The best way to learn anything today is just ask the question in Google. You know, on Spreaker, how do I do this? And somebody's made a video. Somebody or, or Spreaker will have. You know, and you go over there and you watch a video and go, oh, that's how that works. You know? Yeah, on Spreaker, I can actually play music 
and uh, take music and everything. Actually, has a DJ board and everything where you can like DJ music and have an actual radio station on there. Yeah. Well, there's and, audio. Well, uh, uh, well, I thought a little clumsy on that. All you have is clips that you can play. I mean, you can play a whole show. You can can a whole show, have it and have it automatically play. But um, it's it's not real slick, but it's slick enough. We ain't Fox News, so why act like we are? We just do the best we can. And, uh, okay, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Notice I did not even mute you. Who are you hollering at? <laughs> I was hollering at you, Chuck. Oh. Just because it's fun. <laughs> That's okay. You're not the first one to yell. I mean, you damn sure won't be the last. Hey, guess what? I was talking to one of our boots on the ground who's at home right now. Mm-hmm. And I asked him that I want to mount a campaign against the press. And he said, do it. He, he's in. Okay. Um, I need to make a few phone calls. Um, oh, I have a few notes. And uh, I'll, let me, I'll get back to you on that one. I've got to, I'll have to read the article and get everything in perspective and make sure I agree that he didn't just okay. step on his yang because of his age. Uh, but um, you take a look at it and see. I mean, you know, just call them up, and whenever they hang up on you, when you start asking questions, you know, well, where's the whole raw, raw file? Stuff like that, you know. I mean, yep. if you, if you all have watched the video. Have you all watched the video? I have not. I've only watched part of it. I haven't even watched the whole thing. And well, sometime, sometime later today, I'll try and watch it, but um, I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to have a show tonight or not. If you go to the community conference page, uh, Michigan can put a post up of the, com- the part of the conference that they're pulling the headlines from. That way it's just two minutes long instead of an hour. Okay, and that was, that was when we walked back in here. I had to get up and walk around a little bit. I've been tapping on my computer and working for the last how many hours now. Hey, Chuck. Hey, Chuck. I am about to get hit with a thunderstorm. I don't know how bad it's going to get, but my uh, new channel sending out warnings. So, just in case I fall offline, I'm fine. We're just having a thunderstorm. Okay, sweetheart, who's, uh, whose page was that on? Uh, community conference page. No. Oh, it's on the community conference page. Yes, sir. Chuck. Yes, sir. I actually oh. sent you a. I actually sent you a link of the whole thing. Fast forward it to about fifteen minutes in and watch it from there instead of just a little two minute clip or whatever it is. You really need to see like a minute or two prior to the comments to really understand. Okay. But I sent you a Facebook link to the whole entire uh, hour long or however long it was. But just fast forward it to like 14 minutes and watch from, say, 14 to 20. Okay, so well, hold, hold on just a second. Right. Everything, the actual context instead of just the couple of lines that they're spinning. Hold on, hold on just a second, partner. My browser just crashed on me again. <sighs> I'm really tired of that happening. I have reset so many things to try and stop that from happening, but it's still... <sighs> I think I'll go through it. Uh, Yes, sir. Hey, you know about that virus called heart bleed, right? Yeah, it's a real bastard, too. But here's the thing. Steal my identity. I'm not going to pay them if they, somebody steals my identity. If they haven't confirmed it with me before they loan money to somebody. That's their fucking problem. Um, I can't really worry about that too much. The only one that worries me about it was on Ustream. It was the only one I've seen where they did have a, uh, a, a breach. But apparently, I posted it on my page, an email I got from uh, Ustream. And uh, I posted it on my page and it said, you know, reset your passwords. And uh, it's it's a real it's a real dangerous. It's why Obamacare is going to be eaten up by it. And they're not required to tell us. Everyone else is required by law to tell you if you've, they've had a security breach. They specifically exempted Obamacare from having to follow that law. Let me show what the hell I got going on here. Yeah. So I have to go to Explorer, and I don't like Explorer. My my uh, Firefox keeps crashing on me all the time when I'm on Facebook. Okay, you say you posted it on my wall, or you sent me a note, or what? Yeah, this is Tim. I sent you a private message with a link. Just click the link and fast uh, forward it to about 15 minutes. Okay. Well, I just oh, yeah. I, I, I had forgotten you sent me that, Tim. I got so many irons in the fire. Thank you. Thank you. Florida one? Yeah. Did you receive all that I sent you? Yeah, I got it. Okay, go over there a sec. Say that again.
think he sent me. He's not playing for some reason. I'm the source, trying to go to the source, but what what day was that? Did you get that flyer one? Say that again, Barbie? Uh, check your messages. Okay. Hey, I had to go to the source videos to try and find this thing. What does the image look like? Is he sitting in his living room or something with a young guy? Or what does it, it look like? Give me an idea. Is no, they were outside. Okay, I think I found it. This is two days ago. Okay, I'm going to mute out while I listen to this. I must, <clears throat> I must not have the right plug in to play this or something. This is not playing for me. Hey, Chuck. Yep. Type this right into your browser. That's it. You'll play today. B U S E R. Hang on a second. Let me let me open Firefox again. I hate using Explorer. No bikes today. Get off. Go find your helmet. Yeah. It's raining. It's pouring. It's cold, man. It's snowing. He went to bed and bumped his head and didn't wake up in the morning. Hey, hello. Everybody mute your mics, please. Whack that child and mute your mic at the same time. Okay, what was I supposed to punch in on the browser? B-A-M B-U-S-E-R dot com I, I was just there. I don't know why it won't play. I must not have the right plug in for it. For oh, God's God. sakes, find his, his mic and mute him. When I when I when I have time, I was just at that site and whatever that uh, like plug in is to play that, I can't get it to work. So I'll have to come back to that. I've got several things I got to take care of first, and I'll try and come yeah, back to it. Uh, I can't get it to work either. It plays like thirty well, seconds. I don't, I don't know. I just opened it up in another browser and it went straight to playing. Okay. Well, it's just a matter of plugins. What plugins you have? Plugins. Oh, you down. Barbara, are you there? Or Barbie, are you there? Yes, I am. Run him down and mute that mic. Just go through muting people until you find him. Wow. Thank you. Ah, they're much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought so. Lots of one. Just mute everybody and bring everybody back one at a time or something. I got to jump, guys. I'll try and find that video and I'll, I'll jump into it about 15 minutes. Huh? What video is he looking for? I don't know why he's fucking over. It is not bad. He was looking for the entire video from Saturday, uh, the one that started all this rant and raving today. Oh, I saw that earlier. I don't know where I saw. It. Yeah, I sent him two links, but for some reason they won't add, uh, open in his browser. Florida one. Kids. I'm mute. Okay, one of your mutes didn't work then. 
<laughs> no, you're not. Chris? Hey, 7-9, you're going to have... Sorry, I got... Hey, Why can't you just go in the car? And we really need to mute some mics. I already did. Oh. Barbie, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hey, I got an unconfirmed report from Memphis, Tennessee coming in to me. It's a reliable source that we have 40, that is 40 Black Panthers to go protest at the ranch. And it's coming from a very reliable source. In about an hour, I will have a confirmed report. Oh, shit. About the comments, racial comment stuff. They're going down there to protest. So uh, you might need to call Boots on the ground and let them know that it is confir- unconfirmed, but they need to be prepared. And in an hour, I will have a confirmed report from Memphis, Tennessee. That's what the radio, when you was hearing the radio come across, boots on the ground and stuff, uh, I'm getting it from uh, a few sources, but the boots on the ground needs to know. Um, You got a contact number for any of them? No. Uh, you have all the, I haven't got none of the numbers I, I, that you've got. Not boots on the ground. Do you have a contact for who you're hearing it from? Oh, yeah. It's on the radio, and he's confirming it with his buddy that is, uh, it will be a 100% confirmed in about an hour or so. Okay. Um, but we do need to give them a, he feels like we should give them a heads up. Yeah, hold on. Chris, are you on this call? I could have I heard Chris come in. With Chris. Okay. seven nine on our com check, come back. I'm muting out so I can make some calls here. With the recent meeting. Whoever got the comm radio that's beeping in, I don't know if you know that you're not muted or not, but you are not muted. Yeah. This is Florida One. You wasn't hearing that just now a few seconds ago, were you? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I heard it. It uh, said comm check, and you could hear the radio beeping. That's why I come on and said something. I didn't want yeah. anything broadcast. It shouldn't be. Yeah, I muted it, though, because you would have heard a whole lot of beep, 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 and talk, talk, talk after that. Did you hear anything after that? No, sir. No, sir. That's, that's the only reason I said something. I didn't want everybody hearing something. probably don't, you know, need broadcasting. Yeah, no, I was trying to... I have, it's actually working, see, using uh, Skype, I can actually switch off of here, mute out, and still talk on the radio on the, my phone. So, oh, okay. So, it didn't used to work like that, but on my telephone, I can't do both at once. So, I have to use my computer, so. What, do you have an app to actually have the radio frequencies on your telephone? Yeah, I have an app to have the radio frequencies on my phone, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, like I said, I just wanted to make sure you knew that I won't show her. Yeah, I was talking to you saying, I was, if you didn't hear me say, this is muted, and if you can hear me, something's wrong. <laughs> Did you hear okay. that? No, no, you're good. All right, I actually turned the app off right now. Let me go turn it back on. Slide one, please, advise. Go ahead, Barbie. This is Florida One. Can you hear me? Barbie. Barbie. Oh, by. I'm sorry. When I asked you to advise, I had my speaker all the way down, and then I got called back again. So could you please advise the other one? Advise. Is it? You, do you have to wait an hour for your second confirmation? Yes, but it, it's coming from a reliable, very, very reliable source. Two reliable sources, and we're just trying to uh, get the feed. A matter of fact, it's most likely will be on the news. That the matter of fact, the Panthers, Black Panthers, says that they're fixing to actually do a press conference. So I am pretty sure that they are telling them the news. It's going to hit the news before they even get to Bundy Ranch. Just like the militias uh, being called out hit the news before they even went to the Bundy Ranch. Um, anybody want to do a volunteer with him? Sorry, I had people walk in here while I was. They have to spell it. Um, Florida One, you stay put. Uh, anybody got a couple minutes they can spare to make a phone call? Well, my line's tied up right now, Barbie, or I would do it. 
I know, Florida one. You just stay put and listen to what you're listening to. I can, Barbie. Just message yeah. me what you need me to do. Real patriots here. Um, I just want somebody to call the Memphis. Uh, I don't know. Call the Memphis Airport and see if there's anything going out of Memphis to Nevada. That's all. Hello. Yeah, see if there's a lot of like, like a lot of uh uh flights or something going from Memphis to Nevada. Because uh, we, I don't know if you heard, but we have an unconfirmed report that there's 40 Black Panthers going to protest on what the Bundy said. Even though it's not even racist. Like November 2-8 just said on the radio, he said it pisses us off because it's not even what he said. was well, didn't even have nothing to do with race. Yeah, but everybody's uh, tearing up the fact that he said Negro, and he said it again today. So... And that's all it takes for some, you know. Well, look, Harry Reid just said the same daggone thing. I'll try, I'll try to find it. Harry Reid said to said the same thing. As a matter of fact, he called President Obama a Negro president in a white that was born white or something. I don't know how the heck he said it, but he. I mean, you look for it. Punching them words, <laughs> Harry Reid saying that. I mean, look for it. He said it. Is he getting backlash and having the Black Panthers come at him? Nope, nope. But uh... the Black Panthers are just trying to get news coverage. Yeah, but they're also supported by Obama. Don't forget that. Yeah, exactly. Obama's probably sending them out there. And you know what's going to happen? If that crazy daggone, what's his daggone name? The crazy daggone uh, black dude that's... That, Excuse me, right one. Yeah. Please calm down. Okay. What's his name? Wait, anyway? your second verification, please, sir. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I get aggravated. <laughs> it's not even got nothing to do with racism, even though he said that. Many people says Negro. <laughs> Actually, in Spanish, Negro means black. It's not even a bad word in Spanish. Yeah, but the mainstream is making it look like it is a bad thing. You know, you got to explain that this guy's old school, you know? Yeah, I know. He was just comparing them to, you know, uh, were they free then or were, or were they free now? What's the difference? Either way, they are under slavery as as well as the white man right now. Hang on one second, guys. Uh, I've been muted and was talking to myself the whole time. I just checked Expedia, and there are zero flights going out of Memphis to Las Vegas tonight. Where else uh, might have a place close to Memphis with an airport? Well, not not all the Black Panthers are in Memphis. They they could be scattered all over the place, and there's probably a lot in Chicago. Gotcha. Well, okay. there's your answer you wanted, Barbie. Zero flights out of Memphis tonight. There's no comments about about it on uh, on the Black Panther website. Yeah, that's my fear with he said, she said, and start calling boots on the ground until it's verified, verified, not he said, she said from reliable sources. Until you hear something from the horse's mouth or, or got it on documentation, I don't see a lot of need in wearing the boots on the ground. It's not like they can be there, you know, 10 minutes from now anyway. Well, you know, these, uh, the Black Panthers aren't, you know, like the nicest people in the world. <laughs> and uh, they do have full backing from Obama and Eric Holder. So, because they've gotten away with all kinds of crap in the last six years. Oh, I understand that. I'm full aware of that. I'm just saying, with everything that's going on today, there's no need in adding fuel in the, in the fire until we're absolutely sure. We're having a thunderstorm here. Okay. I didn't know what was going on there. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to tell them to verify first before we relay this any further, okay? Hold on a second. But yeah, I do understand what you're saying. I, I That thought had crossed my mind earlier because of whose pockets they're in. Um, and then that wouldn't be them actually starting something. They'd be coming in the middle of something and, uh, you know, but I had thought about that. But like I say, there's no need in getting too panicked or too worried until we have confirmation. Yeah, but these guys could definitely uh, be an unwelcome provocation, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it would be cool if we could find uh, um, some black people that might, you know, have an insight. Um, all my sources are in the sandbox right now.
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to leave my phone on. Or my, 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 my microphone on. So, anybody comment this? I was going to look at the phone number. Um, I checked on Expedia. There are zero flights leaving Memphis, but as well as um, tonight, there are zero flights leaving Memphis to Las Vegas. But as everybody said here, uh, when I made that comment, you know, they would be coming from all over the country, probably not Memphis. Um, just don't want to add fuel onto the fire until we get more than a friend of mine. He said, she said bullshit. Yeah. And, and Chris is calling me about another topic that we're working on, too. Uh, Chris wants in on a mountain campaign against the press. So, and he has some really awesome ideas. And then we were talking about the FCC, as y'all heard. The FCC is next on my hit list, just so you know. Get them. I'm flinchy. So have we had any other confirmations other than more? I need one more before I make that phone call. Um, anybody check any of the, the Facebook pages to see if anything was posted? I'm checking Facebook, Google. I, I'm, I can't find a thing yet. Mm, well, Black Panther's community has 2,626 likes. Community does not need to have Well, on their community page, last post was March 10th. Chris Rock, how not to get your ass kicked by police. And under comments, Kermit the Frog. Hey, look, they're, they're posting pictures of Obama acting like a cow, too. Oh, Michelle Obama. <laughs> Well, this Mr. Jack Conwell is an idiot. on here of people saying they don't want a race war. Okay. Let's try another one. Bob, do you have a fish aquarium near you or are you frying french fries or boiling something? Yes, sir. Sounds like French fries just lying or something, or a bull in or something, or a fish is playing bubbling in the background. I've yeah. never heard it before. It's raining outside. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's what it is. I was like, is she frying French fries? Hey. Like. <laughs> hey, this is Com Swan. I'm chiming in. Holy cow, we can hear you good. <laughs> okay, be quiet. Um, Com Swan, we have a confirmation. Uh, supposedly 40 Black Panthers headed out of Memphis going to Nevada. Well, it's not a what? Can you come again? Flight of one, you want to report? Yeah, I can. It's a unconfirmed. We're trying to get it confirmed. In about an hour or so, I should have a confirmed. But it's reported that there's 40 uh, Black Panther members going to the ranch to protest. Dude, the, pla the Black Panthers don't even exist anymore, dude. That's got to be the silliest thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm sorry. I'm not well, trying to be rude. They, they, during, during the, yeah, that uh, just sounds pretty wacky. Well, i tell you what. They, they pretty much do because during the Trayvon Martin thing, we had a whole bunch of Black Panther members down here protesting at, the, at everything and uh, citing race wars and everything else. Well, yes, they do. <laughs> I just, I've never... Yes, they do because I was the page on Facebook for them. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Black Panthers aren't going to come up and show up out there. And the Black yeah, Panthers website. split, uh, the Black Panthers split into two gangs, now known as the Blood and Crips today. And so, yeah, that's not tied up in the in my opinion, but I never know. Well, I mean, it just depends. I mean, if they show up, 
you can look up the Black Panther later, and you'll see. He's from another country, as a matter of fact. And they have a website, too. Yeah, they sure do. They are still there. Yeah, and uh, actually, when I Googled it, it came up with Black Panther Marxists. Exactly. That's what they are. They're Marxists. How do you spell that? M-A-R-X-I-S-T, I believe. Wow, there's a lot on that. Supposedly, these black, from what I was studying on it, when Trayvon Martin was killed here in Florida, and they were protesting here, and, and people were scared that they were, because they threatened to come shoot everybody with a gun. And they yeah, showed, that's why. They showed pictures of the leader with an AK, because he was in the military in Africa. Hey, man, you know what also uh, they showed a picture of before? They showed a picture of Obama shooting a gun. Hell, they even got pictures of Pierce Morgan shooting a fucking gun. Uh, uh, I can go and buy out an airsoft gun and spray paint the tip black uh, for a hundred dollars, and then get on and post a picture online. There's plenty of people online nowadays who like to like stir up trouble and incite fear and feelings to people. Uh, uh, but I'm it, telling you, man, that story doesn't sound. The Black Panthers are pretty much faded out of existence anymore. Um, yeah, there was a lot of black people pissed over Trayvon's Martin deal, and um, <laughs> Honestly, though, if anyone does show up to protest, let them be. If they're peacefully protesting, they're exercising their First Amendment right. Um, now, if they if they start attacking somebody there, uh, I don't think it's going to end out very well. But uh, to tell you the truth, man, I seriously doubt that that's a true report. Well, well, these guys don't know what peaceful protesting is. No, they don't. It, it, well, who told you? Who told you that they were coming? It'll be confirmed whether or not they are in about an hour and a half. Well, where did you hear this rumor at to begin with? Not a rumor. Coming over the radio for, uh, coming over the radio. What channel can we hear that on? What well, radio? We hear it on a channel. It's cause you gotta, you gotta hear it on where I was on, on the Zillow app. Yeah, man. See, I, I wouldn't trust nothing coming out of anything. Uh, but these are coming from out, coming from boots on the ground from our crews or people that was boots on the ground. That's why I said it's not confirmed yet, and it's not gone no further than us. We're just calling airports and, and trying to confirm it. If it is, if they do show up, they just need to be prepared. No big deal. No big deal. It's not going to be real. Tony, man, black, the Black Panthers got split up uh, many, many years ago. Okay. Hey, and we got a lot of echo on this phone. I don't know. I don't know who's echoing. Not me. I don't think. Whoever just got muted and said was giving off the echo. Did you mute them? I did, and then I unmuted them so they could mute themselves. Just, um, well, it doesn't seem like a problem anymore, but like I said, the Black Panthers were disbanded many, many, many years ago um, and split into the two gangs that um, we know now. And I honestly don't think that they would give um, a rat's ass about coming out to that ranch to do any sort of protesting at all, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't even know if um, those two gangs, anyone who is even affiliated with those gangs, can even drive uh, 50 miles down the highway without wrecking, honestly. Um, so I honestly don't see them coming out there. And people, I'm just saying, man, anything's possible, but that just sounded me. That's out of the box, man. That's got to be the crazy thing I've heard about this whole situation, man. Who's typing? Me. Nobody was talking. And that's supposed to make it okay? Yeah. I'll mute. Thank you. You see, I don't mute because I hope somebody else will bring up another topic. And I lost it.
I had my mute on because I was typing. Hello, how are you today? I'm um, doing good. Anything happen with this whole, uh, you know, bunnies are racist crap that CNN's trying to push? Sorry, I was talking to you on mute again. Uh, we're waiting for confirmation on a few things. You know what they should do? I have a few ideas, but people don't seem to like them. They should interview uh, the militia member that's uh, of, quote, uh, color that he supposedly hates okay. and release it. Who is this? Who? Who am I talking to? Uh, Illinois 7. Oh. I'm just saying. He's got, the, he's got people, you know, protecting him um, that aren't exactly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Tom Swan, would you like to answer that question? Sorry for me typing. Hmm, where are you from, son? Yeah, I'm just uh, listening. Just trying to find out what's going on, too. Kind of doing some stuff. I don't really have anything to add. I think it's a good idea since he has a press conference pretty much every day, so I might as well bring some uh, security personnel along and just uh, do what he can to dispel that sort of BS, but hey, the media will play with the play, so whatever. Yeah, I'm but just saying, go on. saying it makes sense. You know, no, if no, they no, no. racist, why not be standing with people that... I, I, t- I 100% totally agree with you. That uh, Yeah. But, um, I mean, they've tried all these stupid labels, domestic terrorists and all this, like, whatever. They're going to do what they're going to do. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good comeback, counterattack, whatever you want to call it, uh, and I agree with that. But I think the bigger picture is what is they need to be thinking of the end game and how they, because obviously they're not going to have a couple hundred dudes pulling security down there forever, so they need to cut a deal where at some point, you know, they're not going to get raided because we're not going to be able to keep personnel down there indefinitely. This might yeah, sense. that's going to be a problem. Unless, uh, somehow establish, uh, I don't know, seems kind of out there. Because the difference is BLM and the, all, you know, all of them have all the time in the world. They could, they could just not do anything. They could actually let this blow over in the media. Something else is going to pop up, Ukraine or whatever in the media, have it totally blow over, you know, wait five years and then, and then hit his place when no one's even looking. And hit it hard. It would be nothing you could do about it. They can actually go in and kill every single person there and burn all the houses down. They're not going to have any video of it. And they could just be like, oh, Cliven, uh, we tried to serve a warrant with two plainclothes cops, or two uniformed cops, and uh, he started shooting at us. Blah, 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 blah. So, like, they need to come out with some sort of, They have to cut a deal. That's the that's the end of the story. Because we're not going to be able to keep people down there indefinitely. And there's going to be other areas, like this Oklahoma thing, that might get bigger. There's where, I mean, I think the turnout and the reaction from the American people was good on this. And um, eventually, we're gonna, if, if we do try and stay down there indefinitely, I think it's going to be putting all our eggs in one basket. I think we need to, you know, or they, the Bundys, need to figure out an end game and cut some sort of deal. Well, Just, I, think, I don't know, uh, whatever. Oh, I think the only deal that's going to be cut is, I think, them giving up the land because it's the only deal that the feds want. Well, I think that all the militia out there, or some of the militia out there, should have um, cameras mounted on their ARs. Um, that, so if something did break out, uh, that'd be been pretty. If the evidence wasn't destroyed by the end of such a bad event occurring, um, to at least pro- provide some defense. Also have live streams in the area, so there's no such thing as the feds distorting footage, as we all know that they will. Um, just like why don't, they, I don't know why they were all there for one day and then got shut down. You know, why don't they? I'm sorry. Thank, sorry, I, you can finish if you want. I was just thinking. No, I was finished. Go ahead. I was thinking, why don't they uh, set up some uh, cameras with solar panels on them and have a live live feed or something and have them disguise as bushes or something. So if something happens, you know, it'll be recording. That way, at least it'll, at least it'll be on footage. Well, I mean, the whole point is to deter them to start shooting up a crowd and then it's the people. So, and having cameras pointed at you, um, even if, if they're hidden cameras, and they may just start doing it anyway. But uh, I agree with that idea um, just to recover that later on if something does go down. Uh, recover those cameras, um, but I think they'll, that it'd be they'll an try and shoot them first. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, but uh, concealed, uh, or maybe you could have like a set of like concealed cameras and a set of open cameras. You know? Yeah. I don't know. Definitely, the old, firing shots from our side need to have cameras on their weapon. Yeah. The only other thing I I think of is setting up some kind of you no know, fun. So either have 
I don't know if it's 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 feasible, but to have a sort of semi semi permanent you know militia, you know, like where there's there's funding for it, so well, people can. So I don't know. Well, um, having a little camera on Ustream up on a hill with a solar panel attached or a generator or a solar panel, whatever you want to put on it, and then um, put that up on the hill and zoom it in on the whole area. No. The problem is they need the sheriff to do what the sheriff's. You know, what I could do is uh, get a because you got to vote for the sheriff over there, right? Just like everyone else. Is anyone there? Hey, hey man, you got to vote for the president too, but that don't do anything. I don't. In my opinion, oh. I don't know why everyone's getting all so um, hyped up and so excited that the sheriff is going to come defend him. Uh, last time I checked. Um, I I had pretty some pretty bad experiences with sheriffs in my years. And I'm also, just saying, like, uh, no, but hold on. Also, um, the people granted these rights to themselves um, back when the Constitution was ratified. Um, it didn't come from anything having to do with any form of authority. Um, so uh, what I mean is that with a sheriff there or not, backing them or not, um, the people should be able to exert their rights all they want to without having to have the sheriff there um, trying to defend them. But, I mean, I have no problem with him being there as long as he supports everything and isn't um, stirring up any trouble. Uh, but, like I said, the people uh, should be able to exert their rights and um, and uh, exert anything they need to to uh, prevent some sort of atrocity like uh, shooting from happening out in that area. What they should, honestly, I think I should, they should do is just get someone that's going to be a constitutional sheriff, either someone that's, you know, either from the Bundy family or friends with or something like that and just replace the sheriff, you know? That could be a potential game for them that would be securing the uh, Bundys, you know, and any other rancher that wants to go back there and start doing cattle again because the sheriff is key. Um, I disagree because I think the sheriff is not key because uh, the sheriff really um, doesn't have any authority over federal agents um, and enforcing laws, uh, with my understanding, anyway. Um, so I don't know what the sheriff could do if the if a bunch of marshals or whoever came out there and said, well, we're the feds and you're just a county sheriff, so you either get out the way or you're getting shot too. Um, and I'm pretty sure the feds got bigger guns than the sheriff department in Clark County. But um, yeah, I mean, it all starts with the people. Uh, the sheriff would just be a plus. If he's helping out, but if the people are, well, it'll be a huge plus because you're not just gonna go and you know shoot county sheriff with all his you know deputies and SWAT team or whatever. You know, you're just not gonna do that. <laughs> It'll take a few days, and by that time you'll be able to gather support. You know. Well, I think that um, citizens should be able to stand up with or without law enforcement backing them. And stand up for their rights or against a tyrannical agency or entire system if need be without having well, any sort of oath keepers or anybody who's in the military back in at all because the rights are pertaining to the citizens and they're not granted to us by the government at all. Um, so that's my whole thing. If, if you start with the people really wanting it, um, the people have a 100% right to defend their liberty. And there was a Supreme Court case that did approve that um, that an individual does have the right to use force in the same way to defend himself from an assault or attack as he would in defending his liberties. Um, there's a guy who was a couple weeks ago on this conference call said that. I'm going to go ahead and try and find that court case real quick and read um, read that precedent. But, um, yeah, that's that's in, by the Supreme Court rule, land of the law. Uh, it also states that law enforcement officials, they ruled this more than once, that law enforcement officials have no duty to protect uh, citizens whatsoever. The only duty that they have is to enforce laws. So next time, well, because if next time somebody tries saying that the police are there um, to protect, well, the law of the land says otherwise. So that's how I look at it. I mean, I don't have a problem with police who are doing the job right and not abusing their powers, but it's starting to get ridiculous. To, and once police start getting involved, there's always going to be some sort of bad apple in the group. Every single time. So, I mean, if you just get a lot of liberty loving patriots out there, uh, I don't really think it's necessary unless, um, I mean, I guess probably the only, be a good asset. Disrupt. If we can I don't know, somehow get the, how is that a Utah thing like? Are they, uh, still talking to try and get rid of the BLM's control over basically the entire West? I mean, people live on the land that the BLM owns. Is that correct? I don't know, man. Uh, 
Because eighty five percent. Yes, sir, that is correct. Or the well, how is that possible? It's, it's owned by a person, like a, someone's house, because someone's kid, their you, family lives there. Because they got guns, and if you don't agree with them, they're gonna shoot you. And then say that you pulled out. That's a total gun. bullshit. And, and say that you pulled out a gun whenever you had a Wii, Wii controller or a TV remote in your hand, just like the seventeen year old who got shot at his front doorstep as he's answering the door to the cops because he answered the door and he had a he had a Wii remote in his hand, and the cops instantly draws out his gun and empties the whole magazine. Sir, if you look at the title of your car, you paid for your car, correct? Uh, yeah. If you look at the title of your car, who does it say the owner is? Uh, me? No. You should check it out. Your deed for your home is the same way. Dude, if they want to, it doesn't matter what you bought or how much money you put into it or what you did or how long the family's been there. If they really wanted it, um, they're going to show up to your house with fully locked and loaded. And uh, if you don't agree with them, they'll just shoot you and then say that you were making erratic movements. And the, and if anyone questions any, anything having to do with the shooting, all the cops will get paid vacation. They're getting their paychecks while they're at home uh, sunbathing. And um, meanwhile, you're sleeping six foot under. And I guarantee you, the, if it wasn't for the PR campaign, if it wasn't for PR relations, um, I don't know why I would say PR relations, but if it wasn't for the PR um, outburst that would occur if they if BLM went in there and shot up all those people at the ranch, then I guarantee you they would have done it. And I'm telling you now that I personally don't think the thing is over. Uh, it could re-erupt any day. And I'm telling you, if they really wanted it um, that bad, they would just go in there with tanks or whatever. They they wouldn't even have to go in there with tanks. They just have to send 100 people in there with uh, level 4 armor and fully automatic rifles and take everybody out. And then just say, well, too bad. They're dead now, and they're taking the land. I mean, that's what it's going to end up turning into if people don't start waking up and fighting for their rights. And that's why I'm glad they did stand up. Because I guarantee you, if they did just back down, there would have probably been a shooting if they were being com compliant. And what about that Utah thing with the politicians meeting? Is that uh, is that going forward at all? Man, with my experience with politicians, uh, oh, basically, know. basically, what I'm hearing is it is senseless to deal with politicians, which I've I've believed before. And the only way forward is, unfortunately, because they've made it impossible to do it peacefully. That's what I'm hearing because it just seems impossible to do it the way that people want it. Unless I'm wrong. I agree. I agree. I mean, that's why I'm trying to do a lot of things. You know, I'm trying to, because right now all I have is basically something for concealed carry and basically, uh, you know, a hunting weapon. That's not enough. That's, that's I personally want more than that. I personally want more than that myself because, um, well, I need more than got, that. Uh, I mean, if they got big guns, we need them too. That's yeah, I know. One. I don't know what, where people I mean, I could probably stop a couple of homeless bears, that. but that's about it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I really don't know what people get second amendment twisted up. I mean, if you read it, it's in plain as day language, in black and white, says exactly what it's there for. And exactly, it doesn't say anything about any sort of restrictions at all. So I, I think that fully yeah, There should be no restrictions on it. I'm not sure there person. wasn't a single, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, don't take me on fact with this, I could be totally wrong, but I heard somewhere that there wasn't even a single school shooting before the NFA was passed in the 30s. The NSA what? The NFA, National Firearms Act, banning full autos, unless you get a text and go through that whole process. Or no, it wasn't even that. It was just, that's whenever all the SBR and SBS laws came out. Actually, I, I really don't care about the laws, to tell you the truth. They're all unconstitutional. If we ever do get that thing uh, with the Utah, if that does go through, that'd be great, but I doubt it. Next best thing would probably get the sheriff, change the sheriff, and I'll give him some protection. If you can get some protection out there, better than nothing. Yeah, gosh, or, or, or what they could do is if they, if they do get the, the sheriff back and they get ranchers back there, the ranchers, you know, they could have their own security force. You know, that's what they might have to do. Maybe ranchers across the United States should start doing that if they live on land that's possibly used for fracking. I think what we need to do is we need to go to Washington and take our stinking country back and take our land back and everything else along with it, along with our Constitution. That's a bunch of crap probably the only way it's going to happen. But the thing is, a lot of people just don't care until they can stop. Feeding their families, they're just not going to care. Well, we need to somehow get the media to start talking and telling everything, or we need to start our own media somehow. There's a, there's a alternative medias out there. That's what I was talking about earlier about mounting a campaign against them. Media is half the problem here. Actually, media is the, o the main problem. It's owned by six people. All the media in the United States is owned by six different people or corporations, whatever you want to call them. They're all government-run. Globalist. Government-controlled, rather. I'd still be 
on my own. Sadly, it's not the case. Anyways, those are my thoughts. I think uh, maybe ranchers in different parts that don't, you know, like in, that aren't privately owned, like in other states, they just start, you know, getting on security force. Simple as that. That way it can be a, at least uh, they have something to defend with without having to call out for help, you know? And that calling for help would just be, you know, extra help. Do you have any thoughts on that or? Oh, I think back. Hold uh, I'm just trying to write this. I'm just trying to write a little uh, message to someone. It's trying to explain to them how there's no terrorist threat in the U.S. Um, some people are still in this paranoid um, state Thank where they think that they're about to get. Half these people are so scared that they're so scared that a plane's going to fly into their house every single second of the day. So they just beg to have every single one of their rights stripped away, and it just it upsets me to no end. Whenever you're eight times more likely to get killed by a police officer than you are a terrorist. And actually, uh, the dog is about probably 100 times more likely to be killed by a police officer than a terrorist. So, I mean, dude, you're actually more likely to get struck by lightning. And uh, I mean, how many people um, are scared to swim in the water because of sharks? You know, sharks kill about two people a year. I'm getting sick and tired of this terror. This word terrorist. It's how dictators control control people. Terror. You got to be scared government of something. That's why you need government. Our government's the biggest terrorist there is. Okay, I guess that debate is over. Anybody got anything else to say? Stuff and all these events going on right now, and I'm getting so sick and tired of this word terrorism. I know that the debate is over, but um, everyone who's ever called into this call in the last few weeks is considered a terrorist, so get used to it. Um, any gun owner is a terrorist. Um, also, Homeland Security documents did reveal that they listed veterans as the number one potential terror threat, and said that they were quote sorry whenever they got popped. Um, so, and you know that whenever the DHS said sorry, they're just a um, bold faced lie anyway. And they're just like ramping up their activities even more. Meanwhile, they're buying 2.6 billion rounds of ammunition, and they just purchased 25 million more shotgun rounds. They've already gone over the hollow point, and now they can't be used in more time. So the only place it could be used is here on American soil, uh, on American citizens. If there are any left by the time these um, fools who run this country uh, are done releasing the floodgates on the borders, yeah, I'm about to get banned from this Facebook page. Oh my God, can you guys hear me? Can anybody hear me? Hey man, I'm sitting here reading on Facebook, and there's some feminist down talking Bundy, and um, and she's like, "You don't need to mansplain all this situation to me. You get the point." Hmm. Sounds like more divide and conquer tactics. And this this feminist is calling um. Uh, I mean, I have nothing wrong with women, but um, some of these people get ridiculous. Um, uh, some of them, I wonder if they know how they were even born. Uh, yeah, um, I've been uh, checking in for uh, hours here. Has anything much changed since uh, lunchtime? Uh, not really. There's a couple of rumors, but I think those are out of the box. This woman is trying to call Bundy a welfare leech, and he leeches millions of dollars off welfare every month. Yeah, that's got to be something that paid. For a while, they have no idea what's going on. I don't know, dude. It, this person has got to be paid by the government to go online and do all this because there's no way to sit on your computer for three hours at a time, posting every two minutes whenever someone responds. To you. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's the government shills out there. Is that the comms? Yeah, this is comms. Hey, I uh, sent you a message there. Um, you're trying to get on the uh, the call without using a phone. I did find a way. I guess Bar it didn't work for Barbie, but it's working flawlessly for me. Uh, you can use is your this laptop. Minnesota. Correct. Man, you sound so much different to these headphones and my older ones. I didn't even recognize you. Well, is that the problem, using my headphone mic? No, my uh, phone mic is even worse. Oh, I was just wondering. Um, you sound great right now. Not, not like you have previously where you could barely even make out that you were speaking. So what did you send me that on? Um, uh, my so email or what? Because I remember email because I remember seeing that email was. I remember seeing the message. I don't know where I saw it at. Is all I know. Yeah, it was on an email where you and I first communicated. 
All right, I'll go ahead and check that out. But uh, be aware, I guess, um, that link might not work 100%. You might have to sign up for the little service. It's a free thing on the Internet. I don't remember what I did. It was in the middle of the night when the first funny story broke, you know. Um, but uh, the site is called Zynga. I think it's Z-Y-N-G-A. Or Z-Y-N-G-A. Yeah. Z-Y-N-G-A. I think that's how it is. Um, sign up for that little thing. And you can just do the online conference call through the computer. Um, and then you just use your laptop's mic and... Uh, you can do it that way, and I've done it that way a lot. Once you sign into the thing, all you have to do is press one button. You don't have to put in the access number, any of that. You just hit the little green call button. It does its thing. Um, it does occasionally get kicked off, and you got to call back in. It doesn't do it very often, though. Yeah, I'm just so surprised that you sound so much different. I'm, so it's, you sound like a completely different person to these headphones. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty sure I've been changing my voice much since then. Yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and check that out. But um, I think if you want to hear this rumor circulating around that I heard whenever I chimed in about 5 p.m. about the Black Panthers moving into the Bundy Ranch. What? Uh, yeah, I haven't heard that. But since it's just still right now, still a total speculation, we probably shouldn't even try to spread that much. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't really buy into that as soon as I heard it. But what? What did you just hear? There's uh, unsubstantiated claims that the Black Panther. Uh, I guess you could call them a militia group as well, but uh, that their group is moving into uh, confl- conflict with the uh, Bundy Ranch supporters. Uh, still completely speculation. No uh, credible sources or no proof of this yet. Did anyone call Boots on the ground to see if they can get some confirmation? I'm not in contact with Boots. Comms, are you? Dude, Minnesota. Go ahead, Comms. Dude, that, that link you sent me is badass, dude. I appreciate it that. Yeah, it works. So Call right in and on it. just one click, super easy. Yeah, I clicked on that one thing and then it, uh, instantly it just asked to access my uh, microphone and then yep. it was um, and then it started dialing in. But yeah, I, I shared that to Barbie a long time ago and she said it wasn't working so she didn't want to share it to anybody. But I'm glad it's working for you. It's pretty convenient. I didn't say I didn't want to share it to anybody. I couldn't. Well, I just assumed since you said it wasn't working, I didn't know we didn't have any confirmation that it's working for anybody than me. So you know, I can't blame you there. I just assumed. But um, as long as it's working, that's that's great. It's badass, dude. Can that website call any other numbers, like, free? Because I've been looking for a free web phone. I mean, Google you know, I don't know. That's the only time I've used it. Well, I know that Google did have a free phone service for the longest time. And then just, like, last month, they shut mine off. And because uh, I've had my Gmail account for since 2012. And uh, it was free all of 2012. And then in 2013, for six months, they cut it off and charged. And then all of a sudden, it just was free again. And now they're trying to charge me. I mean, it's yeah, I had a calling Google it. Voice, too, that I was using for a while. I never really used it much, though, since, you know, cell phone minutes are so affordable now. But, uh, yeah, uh, that thing of things seems to be working great. I haven't had any... any yeah, time. I mainly just use the Google phone to call up uh, representatives and whatnot, so I'm trying to avoid getting put on the, the watch list, even though I'm probably oh, already man. on it. You're, you're, you're way past that. Anybody who doesn't think they're on a list at this point is delusional. I'm on the list. <laughs> I'm immune from their list. I hope you're right. Uh, <laughs> I don't think no, I'm not. so, but uh, I hope you're right. Anyone on this call that has mentioned any part of who they might be, you're on the list. Yeah, and I'm sure I'm on the list, too. I've been oh, fairly uh, anonymous in, in my interactions here, but, I mean, it's they got the technology. You know, they, they, they track everything we do. It's all on their supercomputers. Uh, yeah, I've been tracking that Utah data center or wherever it is, Idaho. It's been being There's built. Two of them. They have enough. They have enough. It, I read somewhere. But I don't well, like, I think, fact, you know, like most of the stuff I say, uh, don't take it as fact until you do your own research. But I heard that they could have stored um, every word uttered by man ever in the history of mankind on their computers. There. Oh, usually. The, the, the way those supercomputers work, they have those NSA hubs at all of the ISP connections. They're, that's a documented fact. Nobody's allowed to talk about what it is. But even at companies like AOL back in the day or uh, now they've got them at AT&T servers and stuff. They've got entire rooms of these uh, private companies that have to do with uh, Internet and uh, communications that all the wires run through this room, basically, and there's a whole room that's only um, alphabet soup agencies are allowed to use, and the, the owners of the company and the investors and everybody, nobody can, can know what's what's that about and what they can do. But the, the size of those mainframes that they are storing, they're literally storing everything we do electronically. It's, that's where the metadata that Edward Snowden is talking about. It's not about just collecting overall data about who who this you know numbers this phone has called or whatever. They're collecting every single text message, cell phone, 
transmission, landline transmission, radio transmission, uh, email, yada, 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 and they're all being stored. Now, obviously, that's too much information for anybody to look at, but it's all there. So once they have an idea to look into somebody, they can even go right back through all of their data files and look at all the stuff you've done. And uh, thanks to the court order, or the Supreme Court judge just recently uh, said that that is legal to prosecute you retroactively. So that it, if they're looking for you for whatever, being a domestic terrorist or whatever they want to claim, they can go back all the way back to, you know, 2011 when you were drunk and said something stupid on a chat window and take that as, you know, some kind of literal threat or take that as a uh, militant action or whatever they want to do with it. And they can go back in history and through all of your transmissions, your phone calls and texts or whatever and pick and choose what they want and then prosecute with you with it. Hey, is there, cause I know they need a lot of water to uh, cool yeah. those systems before they overheat and shut down. Yep. I don't remember, was it Washington? There was one state that passed, or that wasn't passing, but it had a bill going through the uh, Utah passed legislature to, to shut off their water. And I know that uh, one of them, it, it passed the Senate or the House. It made one good step in the right direction, but I haven't heard which, if it gone farther than that, because that one is really the way you can shut them down. One state did sign that into law. There's other okay. states that are moving in that direction, but I forget which state it was. I think it was Utah. Yeah. I'm not I sure, though. Was, I don't think it was because Utah is really where the, the main mainframe is right now, and I think that would have made bigger waves with me, but it could be it could be mistaken. But, yeah, that's if they can cut off the, the local resources to those things, especially the water, because they need, I don't remember what it was, millions of gallons a day or something to keep those computer servers cooled down, um, that they won't be able to operate without getting the water. Well, can we just, like, heat up the water so it wouldn't, I don't know, before it enters oh, there? Yeah. Oh, they got two, they got two main cooling towers at the complex, and um, they got underground. I'm pretty sure, I don't know why they wouldn't, um, but I'm just assuming here. They probably do have underground storage as well, but they do have main, two main cooling towers out in the data center. Wouldn't it be a shame if someone accidentally had an EMP burst inside one of those mainframes? Wouldn't that fry everything? It sure would. Shit, let's do it. <laughs> Hey, wouldn't it be a shame if in a parallel universe uh, someone shot an RPG at one of those cooling towers? That would be, you know, hypothetically speaking, of course. That would that would be a shame that all that uh, property would yeah, be damaged. Of course. In a parallel yeah. universe. It's always in a parallel universe. We we would never want something like that in reality. Come on now, we're no. not terrorists. No, then definitely no one who would do that would be standing up for liberty and freedom. You know, that's not a parallel universe. No, we're free right now. Remember Bush? He told us we are free, like, how many times? Yeah, yeah, Clinton did the same thing. I mean, it goes all the way back to... uh the one people, one person that no one in history seems to talk about being one of the biggest tyrants in our American history was Lincoln. And I didn't even realize that until I was an adult. I realized, holy crap, the crap he pulled and how racist he was and how he didn't really give a damn about slaves. I had no idea until I read his own words. That's one thing I, I definitely still, uh, want people to look into. Because oh. uh, I'm always only going on the government propaganda I got in public education. And had no idea. Oh, yeah, dude. Teach me anything, any of the Ten Amendments. The ten, first ten amendments. They didn't teach anything about the Bill of Rights. Well, I got so would never. Yeah, go on another line. I'll let you guys get back to you. All right, man. Nice talk to you. All right, I just want to start back. Uh, copy. And honestly, though, who knows what they're really building underground? Because they'd be fools. Um, ever since the satellite technology has advanced to the point where they where they can read a license plate um, from low Earth orbit. Uh, They'd be fools not to have a lot of data centers and a lot of bases on the ground there. I mean, it's just simple logic. Like, I'm pretty sure out in Kansas City, there is a backup for Wall Street. Uh, I don't know. It was so many years ago. It was like five years ago. I heard about uh, there being some backup for Wall Street in Kansas City. Um, once again, don't take anything I say as fact until you do your own research. But um, if they didn't have a backup to Wall Street in one little... Uh, baby atomic bomb from the 60s that um, got was misplaced and was in that area, um, there goes the whole entire economy. So I don't know who would not think of having a secondary location for almost all these bases across the U.S. Is there anyone from Georgia on the call? Um, I'm not from Georgia here in Missouri, but uh, didn't Georgia just pass a new gun law out there that was pretty good? Yep, to bring guns everywhere pretty much. Schools, hospitals, everything. Great. That's great, man. They're trying to pass a law up here to allow um, teachers to conceal carrying as well. That's good. Hey, this is kind of funny. You know how these uh, memes? I um, got one that says, Dad, I'm considering a career in organized crime. And the father says, government or private sector? I think I'll post that if it lets me. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Um, 
I'm not sure what's the right way to pronounce that. I've heard some people call them memes. Other people call them memes. Anybody got the right uh, enunciation of those words? Those little one-page Facebook picture caption deals? It's memes. It is memes. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, it's right. not actually. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I've seen some pretty good ones. I've seen one at a bunny rant that said, exercising the First Amendment um, without the second. And then it showed a cop, that, that infamous picture of the cop um, in right gear, pepper spraying um, the line full of people who are sitting down on the sidewalk, not doing a thing, not doing, not harming a thing. And um, then it says, with the second, and then it shows all the people at the bunny ranch at the standoff. I mean, that's part of the reason why it's here. That's one of the major reasons. Uh, and Evidently, it worked, so the founders knew what they were talking about. Yeah, they sure did, and uh, I, that's one part uh, I agree that uh, is an inalienable right. And nobody else has any special rights than I do. If they get to defend themselves, we're allowed to defend ourselves. And I also believe in what Jefferson said about the tree of liberty, the tree of liberty needing to be refreshed from time to time. With the blood of oh, patriots. Oh, yeah, it has to be. The, I, I agree with you 100 percent as well, and I agree with. Jefferson, as well as um, I'm going to confidently say all the other founders, and short-term memory loss. Give me a sec. Yeah, it was four twenty one days ago. Just checking your daily dose of fluoride yet? Yeah, Flor- fluoride, good stuff. Yeah, yeah, my filter actually just ran out. i got to go get more filters. You know, I haven't drank a tap water uh, to a high extent my whole life, and uh, just because I don't really have the means and budget to filter it all the time, but I drink a lot of water. And uh, gotta wonder where my mind would be if I hadn't. Probably about yeah. ten points higher IQ, at least. Yeah, sorry. Probably have a better memory. Sure. I've been drinking a lot of water since I was like probably maybe like four or five years ago. I started. Oh, oh, the water oh. here. Oh my God, you guys don't even know the tap water here. If you put it into a clear glass, you can literally see. I, it's not my pipes. You can go to any house in the county and um, do the same thing. Sometimes it's green water. So that's yeah, where, where are you done? Oh. Um. You say a region or within whatever. Within an hour, Kansas City region. Okay. Within an hour. Um, but you can see particles floating around in the water. I don't know what in the hell they are, and I don't care to find out, to tell you the truth. Um, yeah, a lot of that stuff is just sediment and whatnot. It looks gross, but it's not that bad for you. I mean, if you imagine imagine how ugly some of the water was from our ancestors had to drink, you know, 100 years ago and whatnot, because that's all they had. But uh, that whole fluoride for tooth decay thing is a bunch of bullshit, and every dentist knows it, and I'm surprised that that hasn't become a bigger issue. It's mass medication, and nobody else is seeming to make oh, yeah, much waves in that. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, fluoride, fluorine is not a good compound at all, and if you get that stuff inside your body, um, it's not going to be very good. Um, also, the, yeah. fluoride that's in the, the fluoride that's in the water isn't, that, isn't even the kind that they use at the dentist. It's runoff. It's a mix of yep. different types of fluoride as well. Well, yeah, I mean, it used to be used as poison, literally. And what's another thing is it's a uh, chemical byproduct of, what was it, fertilizer production? or uh, I can't remember, but it is a main byproduct of a certain kind of industrial uh, process, and it used to be considered a toxic waste that they would have to spend big money on to dispose of properly <coughs> until uh, whoever it was decided to uh, say, hey, no, you know what, we could just pour this into the people's water supply, and we'll let their bodies filter it out, and then... We can, you can make money and sell it to us. And instead of having to dump the poison somewhere safe, we'll just dump it into the water, and we'll tell everybody it's to help your teeth. And yeah, no, but um, also to add on top of that dumping, um, you know how all these ships, all they have to do to dump all their chemicals out is go out three miles outside the U.S. border in the oceans, mix in all the um, toxic waste with it, to where it's diluted down to 25% toxic waste, 75% water, and then dump however much they want to. And Are you talking about thousands, nuclear vessels? No, I'm talking about every single of these big cruise ships that uh, oh, yeah, go out and dump thousands of gallons. Yeah, and all that washes up on the shores. The whole entire Gulf Coast is already hammered from um, the oil spill. Um, and all these other oil spills you're not even know about. Yeah. Well, see, that's one thing I was wondering about, uh, you know, all of our nuclear fleet, uh, between us and anybody else who has nuclear-powered sh- naval ships and whatnot, um, you know, the main thing that makes nuclear reactors so bad for the environment is the water that they use to cool the reactors because it becomes so highly radioactive. That's what nuclear waste is. And uh, I wonder if all the different nuclear-powered ships what do they do to cool air reactors and what happens to their containment water? And I'm guessing it just goes right back in the ocean. Bobby, mute them out. Whoever's echoing, please. Or whoever um, is echoing, please mute yourself out. Um, we're getting a lot of back. Anybody, any, uh, anybody got any information on that? That's one thing I've, I've wondered and I've never really found out an answer to. Well, in my opinion, 
and uh, based on my research, nuclear energy is not nuclear energy, in my opinion, if it's handled in a in a correct manner and um, the energy production plants are up to date with safety and all the regulations to maintain that uh, no leaks occur, that it's um, a lot better than oil, in my opinion. Well, I don't know about that. I I think it's better than coal as far as environmentally, but you still have that nuclear uh, wastewater that they have to deal with. And right now they got that giant hole down there in, uh, where was it, Colorado or whatever. They're still trying to get all the legality so they can store it there. Yeah. um, There's a problem. I say, say, go ahead. There's a problem with nuclear. That stuff, when those rods are done being used, those things are radioactive and they're going to mess anything up that comes near it. And with oil, which is, uh, it's, I don't know if you know this, but the earth actually produces oil. And I'm not sure it produces gas as well, but there was, uh, this article I read, uh, regarding Texas. So there was an oil well that was completely dry in the 80s or something. And then, I don't know, years ago they checked it and it was completely full. So this notion that oil is going to disappear is completely false. And I think we should use oil until we figure out how to make solar more powerful. Or we figure out how to, I don't know if you ever seen that movie with Cold Fusion, where we can have one power plant power the entire world. So we figure out how to hey, do that. Hey, man. Cold Fusion's I'm, still I'm, a long ways away, but the, the oil thing there, um, I don't know what, how much information you have on geology, but uh, it takes a long time for the uh, Earth to produce oil. The fact that they had a well dry that's now got oil in it, that in my mind, would just mean that another pocket of oil happened to seep into that well, and it took this long to get there. But it takes millions of years for uh, organic matter to be turned into oil. Also, yeah, also it could have just been that the oil could not be detected with the current tech or the technology during that time. And also, um, with the nuclear waste, why don't we put it to good use and try and extend the species life instead of spending um, trillions of dollars on war and um, send it and start using that waste to uh, melt the ice caps or evaporate them on Mars to uh, jumpstart the terraforming greenhouse effect on Mars to... So in 500 years, we'll be able to have human inhabitants without um, wearing a spacesuit on the planet. Um, yeah, as, as cool as that sounds, uh, the logistics of actually terraforming a planet would need a lot more than nuclear waste, not to mention the uh, monetary aspects to shoot that many tons of stuff all the way to Mars, but, you know, strapped on top of rockets. That's, we would have to stop killing each other. We would have to have some kind of world peace. The Curiosity Mars mission, it costs more than a global military expenditure for a good 12 hours. So, I mean, if you do a week of wartime, I'm pretty sure if you cut out all the military spending for a week, um, you'd be able to have enough money to send people to Mars. Um, with the current Mars One mission, there it's only NASA's NASA's idea was about a hundred billion. Um, the idea that they're going to go there and basically pioneer it and take a big risk is only about one billion. Yep. Uh, but it, but I agree with you. It is a pretty far off concept. But um, <laughs> to tell you the truth, it's a hell of a lot better concept than. Um, blowing each other up, and oh, I also I, to, I, I, I would also add in that the amount the amount of energy that the the amount of energy that the sun hits the Earth with in one day is enough to power the Earth for 200 years. Yeah, if it could be harnessed properly, for sure. Yeah, I remember that statistic. The last time that military budget uh, was analyzed was 2012, and back then uh, there was uh, two billion with a B dollars being spent every single day on military expenditures. And that kind of numbers is just mind blowing. Two billion with a B a day on military funding. Granted, a big part of that's you know veterans affairs and whatnot. That stuff's not cheap either. But a lot bigger part of that's the bombs and the guns and the troops and you know the actual military industrial complex. I also want to add in that some people don't grasp the idea of billions and millions. Okay, if you counted to a billion, okay, let's say you counted one number per second, that would take you 31 years to count to a billion. To count to a trillion. Um, you just don't even want to try to tip it because that's going to be 31,000 years. Um, there's also, so, I mean, a trillion seconds ago, um, that was, uh, um, was that before writing was invented? I don't know. Uh, Either way, it's a trillion. Um, age, so. Writing has been around for millions of years prior to whichever life form it created initially. We are just uh, catching up on this technology. All this lasers and everything, there's life forms out there that probably have plasma bombs and whatever. But hey, man, still, I'm a, all, on that subject, I'm going to say that um, there's reasonable belief that, uh, or there could be reasonable suspicion that there is life with the vast size of the universe. But I've also, an interesting proof of thought um, here. Okay, I just pulled up an uh, article regarding this um, whole oil thing. 
It's, uh, hold on one second. You can get calm. Swarm to finish his thought there. Yeah. Uh, Mars was fertile for, more fertile for life before Earth was. So it's entirely pot, and since we have bacteria today that can withstand high radiation, that can withstand the vacuums of space, that, that can withstand freezing temperatures, that can withstand extremely high temperatures, um, all those traits must have been passed down at some point. So it's entirely possible, and I believe this, that um, life is seeded on Earth from Mars, possibly from um, an asteroid hitting the planet and ejecting a stowaway that somehow made it here. And, uh, oh yeah, there's a good possibility that the Mars itself seeded Earth's life, and I definitely believe that there is, uh, you know, all numerous civilizations throughout the universe, probably hundreds if not thousands in our own galaxy that are probably nearly as advanced as we are or more so. The whole thing I feel about if aliens are coming down to run anything, I think it's really only two ways when your technology gets that great enough to be able to do interstellar travel, that one, you're either going to have your technology so evolved that you have no qualms or quarrels with any other planets. You've got your own stuff taken care of. You don't care what they're doing on their little planet. It doesn't affect you at all. Or number two is you're more of like a locust species where you just hop from planet to planet to exploit all the resources. And it, personally, I think if you get to that stage, you would probably be more in the former category, but that would be the only stage I would imagine there could really go once you get to that level of uh, technological involvement. Dude, in a hundred years, or the day that I die, hopefully around my 60s, um, I'm just curious to see what the technology is going to be like then. Because 10 years ago, if you pulled out an iPhone in 2004, back whenever a flip phone was about $200, um, and back whenever, I know everyone remembers whenever the Razors were out as well, um, mm-hmm. by Motorola. If you pulled out an iPhone 10 years ago, people would start going berserk. And that's in our, that's our own people doing that. People would just go crazy if they seen you with an iPhone 10 years ago. That's in the 21st century. Well, Imagine yeah, I mean, you go back 100 years ago. ago and same thing. Actually, in the entire Apollo 11 mission, I'm not trying to get any conspiracies on this, but in a singing birthday card that, you know, once you open up and they start playing noise, that little chip in the birthday card has more computing power than the entire Apollo 11 uh, mission. Yeah, I heard a similar analogy. They compared it to a modern-day pocket calculator. Well, that's just ridiculous. Um, yeah. I just hope the technology well, I mean, does yeah, The technology thing. will always be there. we got to obviously make sure that we use it for the benefit of mankind, not for the detriment, because you can look at what the NSA is doing with technology and the amount of, you know, the affordability of massive amounts of computer memory and stuff. But uh, as oh, far as exactly. we start bringing it all the way up to interstellar travel and whatnot, we just don't have an energy-independent uh, independent system to even have any feasible ideas of, you know, barely even getting outside of our solar system. Is We've got one craft that's ever done it, Voyager, that was in, like, 1972, and it just now left our solar system last year. Yeah, we're not going anywhere for a long time. Maybe in 100 years, we might have a base on Mars where we have to wear spacesuits and go inside of a bubble like you see in those pictures. That's a possibility. But then again, there were people predicting that we'd be on Mars in the 90s. Um, but with all this flop in uh, the space industry... The pro- has the all issue it. All that. Well, just imagine how far the space industry would be if we could put even, you know, a quarter of the military budget into that. Because we, the amount of minerals and stuff that are on asteroids, it, they're packed full of precious minerals and oh, yeah. gases and oil oh, oh, and everything dude. else. Or the, I'm the sorry, I got to interrupt you. But, um, is nothing but oil. I'm, dude, yeah, I, I, I'm yeah, there's a moon. Interrupt you. Yeah, tied in the moon on the surface alone of that damn moon. There's a hundred times more hydrocarbons, aka oil, um, than there is on in the entire Earth. Uh, that's predicted, uh, mined, used up already, and still in the reserves here. That's on the surface alone. So who in the hell knows it's below that. Also, one asteroid in the asteroid belt that was um, knocked out of a core of a forming planet um, would have more rare earth minerals in it than um, all the rare earth minerals on Earth. That's one. So obviously there's an incentive to go and do this, and it's not just to run around um, like a bunch of space aliens uh, waiting for some money, which is... Yeah, definitely agree. And just imagine the leaps and bounds we could have made. I mean, look at how fast it went during Kennedy's race to get to the moon. Um, you know, the, it can it can happen with the right funding and the right minds involved. But unfortunately, all the money and all the minds right now are not looking how to evolve humanity, but how to destroy it. I yep. agree. That's the problem is uh, you got too many people fighting over ridiculous things that we could probably solve. But there's governments that are pushing war. There's different religious sects that are saying, hey, blah, blah, you're not right, so we're going to kill you. And it's just all over. And yep. once that stops, once that stops, or there's more, you know, I'm better than you, or just we're considered equals. So. Well, one thing I want to add in is that, like, I just sent somebody a huge 
um, basically novel through Facebook um, on a page over been talking about terrorists. And the people who have been listening, they already know how I feel about that word anyway. Uh, it, everybody's called into this uh, phone line is considered a terrorist anyway, um, even though we all know that's the farthest from the truth. Um, these people, this people running around wearing these shirts that say infidel and Arabic and all this other stuff don't have a clue as to the real threat. It has nothing to do with people out in the Middle East coming over and stealing a plane, which um, would have never happened if they would have allowed, continued to allow the pilots to have access to firearms. And uh, by the way, Rand Paul wants to have um, guns mandatory in every single plane cockpit in the U.S. Um, as well. That just came out. So I'm in full support of that. But just like that, uh, most people are clueless, and they just buy into this terrorist threat because all they do is get on the TV, talk about terrorism, and tell you to listen and tell tell you to do whatever they say, and you're going to be okay, even though that you're eight times more likely to get killed by a cop than a terrorist. Even time, even though you're, um, I don't know how many times more likely, but you are more likely to get killed by a brain-eating parasite that you get from swimming in the ocean or lake than you are by a terrorist, and you're also more likely to get killed by a um you're also more likely to strangle yourself with your blankets while you're sleeping than by a terrorist. Um, and I'm, and uh, I'm, I'd put $25 on that you're more likely to get killed by lightning than by a terrorist. But um, I don't have, but we're all not talking in person right now, so that's a picture. Yeah. All right, on that note, i got to go do some dinner stuff, but uh, I'll probably check in later. This Minnesota one out. All right, see you later, Minnesota. Well, what do you think, guys? I don't know if I've had a chance, take a chance to take a look at what that idiot said. I'm afraid he may have just tanked his entire support. Who, oh, me? Hmm? What are you saying, Maybe. man? I didn't I didn't. I think, I think Mr. Bundy. I think Mr. Bundy, I think Mr. Bundy may have just wiped out a big chunk of his support. It's what happens to people whenever they're new to any kind of media exposure. They, yeah, I think, they, yeah, they what he said on that Alex, that Alex Jones interview, um, or is that what you're talking about? Because uh, no, I'm talking started about saying the, the, uh, the uh, statement about the blacks being better off as slaves than on welfare. Yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. That was on the Alex Jones interview. Is that, what he, is that where he said that? I'm pretty sure. I just watched it today, and I was like, uh-oh, there we go. But, um, I mean... I mean, he said he wonders if, um, he didn't say that they were better off as slaves. He said he wondered if they were happier and had better family structure um, <laughs> as, slaves. as slaves than they do now. Yeah, but that's quite as, a structure. As, yeah, as you and I, I both mean, know, I can understand what he was on. trying to say. He just said it terribly, you know. And uh, I had a friend of mine who was organizing some pretty big rallies and stuff. and hooked up with a guy who turned into a media whore, you know. Kept running his head until he destroyed it. The problem whenever people get some notoriety, you know, that's not earned. He takes time to deal with his crap. But he's, uh, he fucked himself up pretty good, in my opinion. Why? Well, I'm sitting here looking at all these articles of how Clive and Bunny is the most racist person in the nation now. Well, Rand Paul ran real quick, of course. You know, I mean, they should say, well, yeah, okay, well, so what? You know, the fact of the matter is, it's, a, it's not about the man, it's about the issue. But character assassination in the United States is the tried and true way to um, you know, push tyranny. Well, well I'm glad and Alex, Alex kind of cut him off before he got before he delved any further into that. And um, I'm kind of glad Alex kind of swerved it off subject. Um, and he asked something about how New York Times. He said that um, he, it's pretty much in the midst of him saying that. Not really in the midst. It was due to the end. And Alex is like. Uh, so do you think that New York Times knows that they're, what they're putting out is fake or what? And, and then that just changed from, that changed from there, but the damage is already done. And if people don't listen to the full interview and understand what he's saying, because he never said anything about the, the blacks being better off as slaves. And, uh, I mean, there's people who get pissed he just, off. Uh, he just said it so badly. Bad. Well, I mean, they said it, it he so didn't say, in my opinion, he didn't say it badly, uh, but to everyone else who's, uh, too sensitive, um, and a chicken shit, so right. excuse my language, but, um, honestly though, uh, people will get pissed off if you refer to black people as black, uh, and if somebody calls you white, um, then, then it's a-okay, or if you call someone a Mexican, uh, that's racial profiling. I mean, people need to get over this whole damn race deal and get over it because yeah. he didn't even say anything about them being better off as slaves. He said he wondered is if they were happier 
while they had better um, family structure uh, back then. But I know, I know said, what he was. I know what he was trying to say. He just said it very badly. And now, how do we bring it back to the issue, not the man? You know, that's the thing. It's not about the man. It's about the issue. It's about tyranny and land theft by BLM. Now it'll all be just about, you know, just about Clive and Bundy being a racist, so it's okay to hammer him. Oh, it's amazing how stupid people can be. We'll have to wait and see. I just sent a compressor out there for the, for the militia. So they can blow their weapons hey. clean to the damn dust. Hey, this is Ohio 1. See, that's why, hey man, how you doing Ohio 1? But that's why I like the AK, because you can throw a whole entire handful, you can throw an entire shovel full of dust into an AK and it'll still run. But then again, if there was a bunch of people out there with AK strapped to their backs, um, that would be a very, um, the terrorist word would have been thrown around a lot earlier. And um, the terrorist word would have been a lot more believable by the max. Hey, well, people don't know the difference between AK and AR to be factual. It's just unfortunate whenever you end up in that situation with a, with a uh, an AR. But now then again, I like the accuracy of the AR. And, you know, at 100 yards, hey, you just have uh, bullets in AK. Hey, hey, also, guys, with the uh, AR. Could I, could I uh, request some help real quick? What's up? Hey, we got a lot of background noise, so I don't know what's going on. Um, what do you need, brother? Um, I I love talking about guns just as much as the next guy. Believe me, I love listening and talking about AK and AR variances. But um, I kind of need help. My mother uh is, has been watching Fox News, and of course they've used the whole African Americans would be better off as slaves ordeal. You know the twist on words there, and I'm. I'm not able to break it down to her of how they have taken what he said completely out of context. Um, if someone could help me break it down to her in a better manner, I would greatly appreciate it. Well, basically, um, the best thing you could do is just show her the actual clip of him saying, um, of him asking. He didn't say anything. He asked a question, and what he asked was, um, he said, I wonder if they were better off, or no, he said, I wonder if they were more happy and had a better family structure. Um, back then than they do now in this new form of slavery uh, because and then he pointed out um, a lot of bad bad points uh, about the yeah, community he, he pointed out how they were dependent on government housing they were dependent on no not all but he didn't but he didn't specifically wait a minute. he didn't say that it was only blacks he didn't say that wait a he minute. said everybody Don't. he didn't say blacks that were on Wait a minute. You're, you're concentrating too much on, on what he, you know, what he <laughs> said instead of pointing out the, what he was trying to communicate, that the black family was destroyed by welfare. Your mother will agree with that. What destroyed the black family? Welfare. That's what he was trying to point out, that they went from one kind of slavery and servitude into another because of, of that. Now, she'll agree with that. You say he just said it horribly. He's a, he's a 70-year-old man, you know, and he said, and he said exactly. she'll understand and that concept. Then you go from there. Also, to, it's, it shouldn't be. Wait a minute. It should not be about the man anyway. It's about the issue. The man does still have a right to free speech, even if he says things wrong and stupid. He still has that right to his opinions. This issue is about the issue, not the man. The militia is not out there because of just Clyde Bundy. It's because of the, uh, the creepy tyranny. By the way, um, notice how the news will, will try and twist it around and say that he claimed this or he claimed that. No, he asked the question. If, you, if people would just watch the original clip as well, and I mean, I do. Yeah, it's, the, it's, about, it's about the concept, not the person at all. But um, but if people are going to have to want to focus on one individual person when everything goes down from it being um, Bin Laden uh, after 9/11 and Saddam Hussein to Putin right now in the Ukraine situation. Um, it's all about the idea that's been going on. Yeah, Let's see, uh, who, who was the uh, other gentleman that was speaking? The one that was saying that he has the First Amendment right? Uh, here on the line, who was, who, who, uh, which two male, uh, is this November 2 8 and who else? No, this is Comms 1 right here. Oh, but, hey, uh, man, I, I can actually hear you now. You get a new phone? No, I'm using, I'm holding the microphone up to my face. Oh, okay. <laughs> First time I've heard you in ten days. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> kidding, man. But uh, what, what, who was the uh, who was the other individual that was talking here with me? I think we lost him, but oh. I'm just gonna reiterate what he said. Um, he does have first amendment right to believe what he said or say what he believes, but he didn't say anything that was derogatory towards any group of people. He actually said during that interview that um. He uh, was in support of those people, and that he invited them out to the party at the ranch anyway. And that he has some person um, that he tr that he puts his life in uh, his hand. He even said in that same clip that he puts his life in a, in a black per a black man's hand um, and allows him the 
and everything else. Uh, but he never said anything. He never said anything about the blacks. He asked a question. He said he wondered okay. if they were more happy and had better family structure back then than they do now with how everything's all misconstrued and uh, skewed out of place. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. Okay. That's with everybody. I'm, I'm on a Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, like, get a second to like, speak. All right, we got to go one at a time here. Um, Michigan, go ahead. All right. Um, I had posted earlier the original footage of Jeff with what was said by Cliven on Barbie's wall. You can go look at that. And then I just found another clip from probably 2011 where another gentleman was pretty much trying to say the same thing that Cliven was trying to say, which was at slavery time they had more of a family life than they do with the welfare and how the welfare program is separating families, demolishing, doing stuff to kids, and everything that Cliven was trying to say. So if you get a minute, it's, it's a little bit long. It's like nine minutes long. But once you watch both those clips, the first one's maybe two minutes of the actual statements. The second one is nine minutes. But you get a bit, lot better understanding of what he was trying to say. Well, no, I think I, um, whenever I was listening to him, as the words were coming out of his mouth, I recognize what he was saying pretty well. Um, I don't think he was trying to say anything about um, black people. I think he was asking a question as to whether they had a uh, better or if they had, if they were happier, had a better family structure, which some could argue um, that they did have a, better, a lot better family structure back then. Um, it, no, that goes for everybody, though. That goes for all humans. Um, go back 200 years, and uh, everyone's generally going to have a better family structure than we do now, with people getting girls pregnant and running off, never seeing them again, moving into a different state, or moving into... Like, I know a guy who moved down to Florida because uh, some sort of child support loophole down there. Um, I don't have a problem with Florida, but I love Florida, actually, but that's just an example. Um, and he, guess, surprise, surprise, he was a white person. I'm just getting tired of people bringing up race left and right. Uh, this president has done nothing but divide people on race. And uh, honestly, though, it, it's to the point where if you don't agree with someone who's black, or if you say one wrong word that someone wants to twist around and make it out to be something that you didn't even say to begin with, um, since you didn't even make a statement, um, that you're a racist immediately. I mean, just like uh, if 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 you don't like Obama, you're a racist. I'm sorry. Um, you are a racist. How like oh, dare you? Yeah. If you don't like Al Sharpton, who doesn't he owe like more money? Doesn't he owe like two million in back taxes? And they're trying to go after Bundy. Send a SWAT. Send a 200 man team to Al Sharpton's house uh, with the IRS, since they just got their new SWAT team, uh, courtesy of the Affordable Care Act bill. Didn't read that part of the bill, did you? What does the IRS have to do with health care? Uh, as good as mine. But we're getting sidetracked here. Uh, the point is, is that he didn't do anything wrong. Um, I understood him loud and clear. Uh, I've heard a lot of black conservatives uh, say the same thing that he was saying there as well. Um, and he said basically um, everybody plays with this new big government deal. And the media are just going berserk because they're, they're looking for reasons to tear him down because they know that he has a moral high ground. Um, on this whole situation, trying to bring them back, and they're, now they're trying to gain the moral high ground by claiming racism. Okay, I need a second here. I just want to let everybody know, um, they just called in, they got a, a weak rotation in the northern part of the county right beside me. So if I fall off, I'm sorry, but that means I'm out of cable, and I'll be back for electricity, and I'll be back as soon as I can. You're about to run out of electricity? Uh, yeah, we have a severe thunderstorm warning and a possible tornado warning. Uh, stay safe, Barbie. That storm just came out of Missouri, I'm pretty sure, because we were getting rain all day. Yeah, yeah I'll be uh, thinking about you, Barbie, and, uh, well, I'm, you, uh, yeah, you stay I'm safe. I'm just Tornadoes gonna... ain't no joke. I remember Joplin. Yes, I know. That's not Love a you, chick. Dude, I hey, tell Barbie, you, whenever you I went down to, I tell you, whenever I seen Joplin, not too long after that happened, Telling dude, that was some of the worst things. Uh, that was some of the worst things I've ever seen. Thank you, my boy. Uh, I don't know what's on in the background, but we got someone sounds like they're sliding their phone across an ice rink. Um, Sorry about so, that. I was trying to get my chair through the door. I forgot that it wasn't on mute. Uh, you're good, man. Dude, these new Xboxes. Can, these new Xboxes can see a hundred percent. Um, clearly and identify who you are in complete 100% darkness, no matter how, how dark it is. Uh, they can identify who you are. What is it, an IR camera or something? Um, yeah, it's got... Well, if you look at a Kinect, the Kinect for, is what it, the camera is that recognizes your voice and all that. 
Uh, it's got a regular camera. It's got, I don't know what in the hell, it, it's got an IR one, I'm pretty sure. Um, that if you look at, uh, if you look in a room that it's on, uh, with night vision goggles, you'll just see, uh, thousands, tens of thousands of little tiny dots scattered across the room. And, uh, I don't know what in the hell the other camera that they got on there is, but it, um, it might be thermal because everybody's body is all orange and red and then everything else is all blue. But it, it can tell who you are, and I'm telling you, if you're looking through that IR camera, it, it, it looks better than my, it looks better than uh, some of my cameras that I have right now, and it's definitely better than my phone camera, and that's infrared. But I, I keep it pointed away from me. 